nuts. All right, shake these my hand. Nuts. These nuts. Shake, shake these my nuts. hand. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my nuts. Shake Got my him. nuts. I want to shake this man's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Blue Ruby's podcast. Where we shake some nuts. Shake my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Episode number 28. I'm Adrian. Got Gore here. Got David here. Uh, you don't know what we just recorded about a minute ago, but it's okay. We're doing good on podcasts. Congratulations to us. Except we're not we're not cop to Gorecast yet. Watch out, Gorecast. Yeah, watch out. We're coming, yeah, we're coming for you. Three, three Fuck years. who would ever create a stupid podcast like that. Yeah. What happened to you and Gerard well, podcast? This is, a, this is also David's last podcast. I just want to let it right now because he's going to be found dead somewhere tomorrow. Get yeah, right what, what happened to the podcast that uh, you were doing with Gerard for a second? It, happened, it was it was up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it vanished like mine and uh, Samuel's podcast. Too many podcasts. We got two podcasts already. That's true. And yeah, we're done. Oh man, so we almost had too a many. we almost had a live. Uh, Live, not reunion because they never all met together, but uh, a live uh, meeting at the podcast. But David puts out. I'm sorry, I have a day job that demands my presence whenever I am needed. Just do a little cough, cough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I even if I'm sick, I need to be fucking available for the shit I do. Uh, I died. I'm sorry, I can't show up. Yeah, so I was I showed up in New York there for a day, and uh, yeah. David couldn't show up, so therefore Chris couldn't show up. Yeah. So fuck it, I guess. I, I could have, but it would have been later in the day. And, yeah, uh, like forty bucks. I would have been there for like two. Yeah, it would have been, it would have been a lot for like a two hours. Hour, yeah. <laughs> well, two hours. hours an hour. I could stay there as long as I wanted to, but <laughs> never go back. Thing. I don't even like to go to the city. <laughs> I go there. You're there for two hours, and then I'm just stuck in the city for. Well, all right. And then, and then uh, because I, I get mugged I, and and fucking stabbed and and beaten, and they take my switch. <laughs> They take my switch. <laughs> oh, my switch. Oh, they're shaking my nuts. <laughs> shaking my, my nuts. nuts. No, and then uh, I saw Casey out there, and then I guess when he was trying to go back, it was uh, it was also rush rush hour, mm-hmm. so he either had oh, to pay a little Jackie more Chan. or had to uh, wait longer there. So that that was fun. So oh. probably worked out. Um, yeah, I ended up going to uh the Overwatch League. That was fun. Fucking uh, uh. San Francisco, San Francisco kicked the shit out of Vancouver. Like, it wasn't even a really? game. Yeah, they they four would Vancouver. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco lost round one winners and proceeded to go four zero every single game until they won. They were pissed. Embarrassing. Uh, there was one really cool moment where uh, two actually really cool moments where uh, um, you know, when Eichenwald, the last the last turn around the corner was that chandelier up there. Yep. Uh, the Bastion turned the tank mode. And Rocket jumped up to the chandelier. He just planted himself out there and just rained hell on everyone trying to spawn. Oh shit! And they couldn't get to it in time. That was that was funny, but uh, it was a good time. It was uh, very fun to walk around Philadelphia and just like at every moment you could just turn. There's like some random Overwatch League jersey over there. I was like, hey, that's cool. You know who's there for that? Uh, Got to be Jeff Kaplan, dude. Yeah. I saw. I saw dude. Jeff Keeley, man. That was really cool. I, oh, I'm so fucking. So I was uh I I didn't get my ticket mailed to me so I had to call and they had to cancel the order but then they held it reserved for me so I had to go to the box office that day and get the ticket so I uh, got there a couple hours early when they were doing the fan event outside I was like all right cool so we did something over to the side and then uh me and the girl I'm seeing went to go walk over to the box office and I tweeted out I was like all I want to do is get a fucking picture with Jeff Kaplan that's all I fucking want. And then as we're walking up there, I'm kind of stressed out. I'm like, oh, what if they just fucked up? Because, you know, people live events sometimes fuck up. They're like, what if we don't get a ticket? As I'm just thinking, I'm trying to focus on where the box office is at. She was like, didn't you want a picture with Jeff? And I was like, yeah. She's like, he's right there. I look over. He's just right there with, <laughs> with like, two, two guys. Not, ticket. not even two fans. <laughs> like, just two guys, I guess, that are trying to help run the event. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I just dropped everything. <laughs> and I walk over. Hey, he looks at me. I'm like, can I get a picture? <laughs> he's like, yeah, man. He's just uh, talking to me about everything. And then I told you about that where, um. I was like, yeah, man, my friends love Overwatch, man. We don't play any other games these days. <laughs> we want to, but we can't. Did you pitch the podcast to him? No, you know what? I was going to, I, I, right the second I fucking left, I didn't, I didn't want to go back afterwards, but the second I was, I was like, I should have asked him to, I should have asked if he could do a bumper for us, like, you know, do the intro for us or, or right, something right, like right. that. But it was also windy outside, so the audio would have sucked. And I'm sure, like, I probably, I'm sure it's probably like, I mean, whatever. It's not the worst thing, but. Yeah, I was talking to him, I was like, yeah, dude, and I was like, uh, she loves Red Dead too, and she's like really trying to get me to play, as are you, 
And I'm like, yeah, I guess like Red Dead's like some of our games, but I just haven't got to. He's like, you should. It was my game of the year last year. And I was like, oh, Chris will like that. Chris will, <laughs> Chris will appreciate was not Jeff being Jeff Kaplan that. said that? Yeah, did, I, did you see that? Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, that was my game of the year last year. See? What did I then, tell you? But then he also said he wants Tracer and Smash. There's some, there's some smart people in there. Well, he has to say that because he works for <laughs> he works for Tracer. <laughs> Tracer's the CEO. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, That's what dude, she's on the front cover. That was, that was fucking so. I was so excited. Then uh, he showed up. He showed up at the event, and and I like not many people actually got a picture with him because he was running around everywhere. So I, was, I happened to catch him right there, and uh, he looked like a fucking rock star when he was walking into the Overwatch League. Everyone was fucking cheering for him. Everyone was Jeff, 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 Jeff. Jeff. And then I, I guess oh right where God. he right where he walked out, there's a good picture on Reddit where right where he walked out, there was some girl that worked for him for a couple years. I was right there and never actually got a picture with Jeff. So when he's out there, she, after he was done with the interview, she yelled, Jeff, take a picture of me. So he he literally climbed over, like, people and over benches to, ca- to get to her. <laughs> That's funny. Fucking Jeff Kaplan. I, that was my fucking favorite picture there. I was, like, fucking so excited. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jeff so I did, Kaplan. Yeah. Good Jeff, man. Uh, Joe Kaplan of the Battleborn team. Joe, Joe Kaplan <laughs> of the Battleborn team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my um, god, is that Joe Kaplan from the Battleborn team? God, dude, right after that, I was like, fuck, I can just leave right now. I can leave Philadelphia right now. I got what I wanted. <laughs> I pay all his money to get a picture with fucking Jeff Kaplan. Yeah, just get Jeff Kaplan. I really, oh, dude. I, the I guy did, from the from the Overwatch updates. I hey, really, guys, this is Jeff Kaplan. Oh, dude, boy. I, I swear, like, as soon as I left, I kind of regret it. I was like, I really wish, I really just wanted, hey, this is Joe Kaplan from, no, <laughs> Joe, this is Jeff Kaplan from the Overwatch <laughs> team. This is, just watching, you know, the podcast. Oh, man, I should have got that. That would have been great. But, yeah. uh, Fucked up. Fucked up, but that's fine. I got what I wanted. Fuck you guys. You should have told him you're, you're watching not another movie podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Make him do bumpers for everything. All right, now, now Gore Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Something that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, man. And we should tell him, like, Oh, if we made a bumper, we should make it so that we have one that we could put any uh, podcast hey, in. And hey, this is Jeff Kaplan. You're watching the month of core. And, you, and he just says, like, he just says nothing. <laughs> and then you just add whatever he says over. Hey, guys, this is the month of gore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, great. Yeah, yeah, so Jeff I got, Kaplan. I got that. The Shake I'll, My Nuts I'll, podcast. <laughs> the shake, shake My Nuts. Shake my hey, welcome to Shake Shake My Nuts. Shake <laughs> My Nuts. Um, That was cool. Then, um... What else went on? Uh, nothing, nothing oh. really much, game wise. Um, we'll talk more about that. But uh, anyway, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, Gort, what'd you play this week? Uh, I was the only thing I played really was Zelda Breath of the Wild to uh, Link's Awakening Part Five or what is it called? Just Link's Awakening. <laughs> uh, I never really played. I mean, I did play the original, but when I was a kid i don't think i finished it to be honest so it was nice to go and play it's gorgeous pretty much a pretty much a new zelda game really (laughs) to me uh because i again i i I played it i just don't remember much of it um and i played i played the the dx DX version i played the dx um which had the color dungeon which this also does um and uh yeah i mean that game is is great Uh, it does have some problems uh mainly two two major problems i have with it one is that the frame rate is definitely a, yeah? Like, that, it's so weird that that's like the weird game. And there's a thing I don't. I know a lot of people don't like. This isn't a major concern, but this is like a minor one with the frame rate. Is that they do the they do this thing where all around the borders of the the frame, uh, it it gets blurry. Like it, it like if there's something like up top. Okay, I know what you're saying. It's like kind of blurry, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of it kind of bothers my eyes sometimes. I don't know why, because everything in the f- middle is focused, but everything around it is like blurry. And as you That's move weird. towards it, it, it's a little weird. It's not too bad. I, I'm making it sound like it's way worse than it is. Um, it, it's not too bad. You get used to it. But at first, I was just like with the frame rate issues and that it was just like and everything pops. It's just like it was a weird combination, like all the colors and the fo- the the blurring and the frame rate it was just like at first I was like, Ugh. um, but. Uh, my other major problem is that uh, I can already tell. I mean, I'm pretty far in, but I can tell the game is is pretty damn short. Like you, it, it, especially if you already played the original game, uh, I think it's pretty much exactly the same. Except of course it looks different. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. And and it it's like maybe six seven hours long. Yeah, I was gonna say and, I remember DX only being like five six hours. Yeah, and it and I, I've seen playthrough. I haven't watched them, but I've seen playthroughs online where people play for the first time and beat in like six hours. And if being a sixty dollar game, that might be a little too short, considering you know like the original. I mean, it's a remake. Also, it's not like a new game. It's a remake. It keeps the same kind of structure. Um, 
Yeah, but okay. Gore has replayability. You can make your own dungeons and share them through Amiibo. I heard that that sucks, actually. I heard that. Yeah, I share them through Amiibo. That's the fucking dumbest shit. Hey, does, it sound um, like, does it feel like a... Uh, or I know you, you obviously didn't play it, but did you... Uh, you think that's like a test run for a Zelda uh, dungeon maker coming up sometime in the Switch lifespan? Uh, I haven't. I, to be fair, I haven't done the dungeon thing yet. Um, but the dungeon thing seems like all it is is that you take parts of the dungeons they've already done, like from the dungeons you've already completed at that point. So like dungeon uh, level three or whatever, you take right. some of the some of the rooms and you just like put them in different places. So you're not really creating dungeons. You're just taking pieces of dungeons and compiling them together. So like, you are making a dungeon, but you're not like taking a room and then like, oh, I want to put pot here. I want to put this. I want to make a puzzle or whatever. I haven't played it yet, but that's what I've heard it is. Okay. Um, so it seems like it's very simple. But I could I guess, definitely see it being the launching pad for that, though. Yeah, because that would be really cool. Because when I first heard it, it was Dungeon Maker. I was like, oh, that's cool. You can make your own puzzles. You can put a chest here. You have to right. go over here and unlock it. Uh, obviously, if you can't solve it, then you can't upload it or whatever, just like Mario Maker. Um, but you can't even upload it anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I don't know. That, I feel like that was like a tacked on thing. The developers of this. Uh, I it's think not, and it said though. Sakurai just wanted that in there. It's the guys that did the yeah. That's not great. Wait a that makes sense. Uh, fucking. Uh, yeah, it else? makes sense. That's, yeah, it makes sense. Somebody would want that in there. Just like yeah, because Mario Maker's so big. Just have like something small in there that's like that. Um, but it's from the guys that did the Ocarina of Time, uh, 3DS uh, remake. I guess not really a remake, but it kind of was. It was a more like yeah, remake. it was remaster. I hope we get yeah. the Majora's Mask and Ocarina of 3D uh, yeah. on fucking Switch. Switch. Yeah, compile both of them together. That'd be nice. Um, I want uh, Link Between Worlds because I have yet to finish that. Oh, that game is phenomenal. I got like ten hours in, game. and I like, I, I don't know. It was just the 3DS. Like, I love the 3DS, but there's times where I'm just like, I don't really want to play on this. <laughs> yeah. And at that time, I was like, it came out at the wrong time too. It came out. Anyway, like, Metroid. Yeah, me- well, Metroid actually, I got really close. I didn't finish that one either. I should say, but I got really close to that one. Link Between Worlds, I. I got about eight, ten hours in. I think it's like a twenty-hour game, so I, I, I still had a, a long way. But t- Samus Returns, I got super close. And it's just like I don't know. It's just the controls are a little weird for 3DS for games like uh, Metroid, at least. Um, you get used to it. But this game's fun. It, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorites this year. I would say. I'm not saying much because this year's been kind of weak. But good stuff. Uh, besides that, I. Play a little bit more Borderlands 3. Just a little bit more. Uh, I'll probably finish that in the next week or so. I'm like 30 hours in, so I'm probably pretty close. I I don't think I played anything else, though. I think it, that was pretty much it. I, I bought uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts. I mentioned, that, I mentioned that last week. And I wanted to play it, but I heard it's a better... Like, it's an only an hour and a half, so it's a game that you should play in one sitting. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm going to wait. And 100%. Uh, I, well, you, headphones in. Yeah, if, uh, well, I'm gonna probably play on my TV. So, um, so I want. I, I heard the visuals are really cool. So, what I would I suggest headphones in. Um, if you have a a headset for the Switch to play yeah, while no. docked, sure. If not, I think the I think the soundtrack is better than the visuals. Not that yeah, no, I heard. Person, but I think it'd be a better game. I thought it was. I the way I played it was headphones in, and I'm playing in my bed on handheld dark room. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, uh, the visuals are cool, but nothing like. It's fun. Nothing like right home about like, oh my god, this game is gorgeous. Like, it, yeah, it looks good. But right, right, right. The music is all about it, so you need to be headphones in first and foremost. Right, sure. Uh, besides that, I think that's it. Cool. Uh, David, what'd you play? Fuck ton more of Yakuza Zero. He's 500 hours in, and he's only 20. Uh, I'm 60 hours in, and I just got to chapter seven, so oh. I'm almost at the halfway point. When I play these games, I'm not doing that. I need, I need, <laughs> to get <through. laughs> I need to get through. There's no way in hell, like all these games coming out now, and I have to play zero. I have to play what seven games? Yeah, you have to play seven games before seven. <laughs> well, I guess you don't need to play it for seven. I, I, I true. Heard, it's its own thing. But, yeah, I've uh, heard like like you you won't get references, but you don't need to. Which make it, it's making me think maybe I should play seven first and then go back and play the other ones. I'd be like, oh. I could appreciate it more or something, but... Uh, anyway. What game, sorry? Uh, oh, Mega Man. Oh, yeah, you need the story for Mega Man. 
Ja, ja niin meidän jo Dakka Waiwi. Dakka Waiwi. Dakka Waiwi. Um, anything else? Uh, I have been playing one other game, but I'm going to hold off seeing it because it goes into what I bought recently. Oh, let um, me guess. I got none. Go ahead. Fuck you. Uh, I, <laughs> oh. didn't, I, I didn't get to play as much as I wanted. I, Dude, I, I didn't sleep the night after I was at this podcast. I, I just went straight to the airport after that. I figured. I, I didn't pack, and I and the podcast took a little bit more edit, time to edit, and then I had to make sure it uploaded. I want to make sure it didn't fuck up in uploading, so I did all that. Then my time, I had like an extra hour. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm not going to go to bed. But um, So I ended up sleeping a lot on the plane. Um, I did end up uh, playing a lot of Untitled Goose Game. It's fucking so good. Yeah, I actually played a lot. Like, I've been trying to do all the objectives, so I've, I've, I can move on, okay. but I'm not, I'm trying to 100% it. Um, it's, so, it's so fucking fun. It, it's such a me game. Like, that's just, I love it. There's times where I'm just like standing there, fucking some fucking human human, piss, human pushes you off and just looks at you and stares at you. Then as you raise your your goose flaps and you just go honk. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all. I I could do that for hours. It's the fucking funniest thing to me. I've seen gameplay where it's, it's just so like, it's fucking just, good. So many times it's just the goose just like what what the fuck are you gonna do about it? Yeah, just <laughs> hands up, honk, and they get scared. Uh. I no. want to play it. I, I have it. I bought it's that. It's so, so good. It's so much fucking fun. How much is it? Uh, I think 20, it's twenty. I think. Uh, fifteen right now. If you have, if you, if it, it's a there's a launch sale. I, I mean, yeah, but I think it's already been out for a couple weeks. I don't, I don't know if that sale's still going on, but I think the normal price is twenty. I'll check right now, but uh. Yeah, I, well, not, I can't, I can't see. 20. I don't think you're gonna be able to see though, because you already bought it. All right, huh? Uh, let's see. Untitled. <laughs> David, you check. Go get your switch. No, it's downstairs. That's all right. I'm not going downstairs for my switch. Go ahead. Oh, run. Run, run any other console? <laughs> nope. No, it's on. Yeah. It's on. Uh, switch. It's, it's 15 bucks right now. Still, it's fine. Think, Is uh, it? Still? Yeah, okay. but I think up until maybe tomorrow. Mm. Oh, so you better hurry. PC. Uh, no, is it on really. PC also? It's, it's worth it. It's a fun time. I I love it. It's it's definitely the fuck around game where you're just bored and you're just fucking around. You just want to be an asshole for a little bit. Is uh, is that game on PC? I don't think so. Is it not? Really? Okay. Anyway. Untitled Goose Game. It's on the Epic Games. So. Oh yeah, Epic it game. is. It is. Yeah. Oh, isn't it John Wick game coming out soon? I bought it on Epic Game Store because it was yeah. on sale. Yeah, when's it coming out? Like sometime this month. I think soon, so. trademark. I think very soon. I actually want to try that. Probably by the time this podcast is not knowing our luck. Oh uh, yeah, it, it's been out for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Goose Game. Started uh, Link's Awakening, but I was like not in the right setting. I was like, eh, I'd rather just play it on on a on a TV or at least where I can focus yeah. on a little bit more. A, a lot of like reading and tutorial stuff that I forgot about. Oh, that um, game has like the least amount of reading in any Zelda game ever. <laughs> yeah, but more than like what I needed to on a plane. Sure, yeah. In the um, beginning, yeah, it definitely does. But. Started started the room two on my phone because I got into the room last week. Uh, playing a little bit of that too. Just a lot I of small games. Today. The room. Yeah. Yeah, good shit. Um. Then I'll been a slow week, but uh, I'll play some more this week. I think I'm gonna start Dead Space this week. Yeah, yeah that uh, one. Which again, if you haven't, if you forgot or missed last week, uh, Dead Space is our games gone by for the end of this month. Which will be on Halloween. Halloween. Um, we're all gonna dress up. Out, we're bro. all gonna dress up. I hope you dress up too. Don't point at me. Uh, I just hope my hair grows back out from my costume. <laughs> I'll, I'll dress up. I'm gonna dress up as a sad uh, basement dweller. Shit. I'll fuck you up on my Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh God. Speaking of Thanos. All right. Thanos wore a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. He's dead, that's him chilling before fucking... No, uh, I'm just gonna say it, because I know you guys won't have any idea what the fuck it is. It's Old Man Henderson. Yeah, we well, said this last week. No, said that, that's no, yeah. Chris. Oh, that's man. right. Yeah, no. You, you guys yeah, you guys have no idea what the fuck that is. It's fine. Alright, speaking of we don't know what the fuck, uh, David, what'd you, you buy? Just, I bought a lot of shit, and I got a lot more shit in I know, I saw you bringing it over when we were fucking doing the trivia. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, no, I've been putting games away while we were doing trivia. Uh, okay. I thought you were bringing shit over. Because uh, I finally got around to assembling my new shelf. Uh, <laughs> Just a giant fucking... <laughs> so, I've been putting uh, my box games on it. And I'm going to keep that shelf that's back there for my loose collection. Uh, but I've been slowly putting that. I'm already actually out of room. So, I think I'm going to have to try to make more shelves to put in there somehow. 
I have all the tools for it, but none of the competency for it. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, but no, uh, so for uh, hardware stuff, got a new Dreamcast controller. Because yeah. I have three Dreamcast controllers aside from this one, but none of them are official. So I'm like, fuck it. I need an official one. I need that official shit. I got component cables for my original Xbox. Oh, yeah, man. Component cables. Fuck yeah. Shout out. Uh, and then for digital stuff, uh, I got... Actually, no. I'll start with this next. Uh, yeah. Just because you, you guys talk about movies that were so often, uh, I got the complete collection of Saga of Tanya the Evil. Whoa! What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's an isekai style anime. Uh, the twist of it is basically God has this hate boner for this salary man. So he gets reincarnated into this alternate world, world war one story as a girl. And he's basically just trying to conquer the equivalency of the world as world war uh, one Germany. All right. But when you woke up, what was it about? <laughs> It was about girls with big breasts that have no. like weird colored hair and no. they're all shy. <laughs> no. So uh, kawaii. Kawaii Desune. That actually sounded way more interesting than fucking most anime, which is just the same shit over and over again. But anyway, if, if you uh, like history and you like magic shit, uh, it's great because it basically <laughs> is just World War One with magic. So <laughs> two my favorite, <laughs> two of my favorite things: <laughs> war and magic shit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. By the way, I just wanted to show. Uh, yeah, I can't for some reason I can't zoom in, but this is uh, David's cosplay. Can you see it? Let me see. There you go. That's him. I just I had to look him up because I was confused. He has a shotgun. Yeah. If you are ever really want to understand the origin of it, it's a very long story about a Call of Cthulhu campaign, but uh, it's really good. Anyway. Uh, but yeah. So then digital stuff. I picked up Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation 2, because uh, that's free, and I'm like, fuck it, I love me some Gundam. Uh, then I also picked up, uh, there was a Fanatical bundle, uh, so I got X-Blaze uh, Code Embryo, X-Blaze Lost Memories, Creeping Terror, Aegis of Earth, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the rest of that, and mine Zero. And then for physical games, I picked up Dragon Quest Eleven. Hell yeah. I had to cancel my order for that one. Uh, I picked up a uh, boot disc for Dreamcast. Okay. So I can make it region free. The reason why I want it to be region free is Dreamcast games that are in Japanese are dirt fucking cheap. So one of the ones I picked up was Vampire Chronicle for the matching service. Uh, quick little history about this game. It's a game where there's only 5,000 copies that were made. And you guys remember uh, Vampire Chronicles, the Chaos Tower on PSP? Just not that, the Chaos Tower, isn't that uh, the name of one of the um, Darkstalkers games on the PSP? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm referencing. Oh, that's the game? Oh, is that what it's called in fucking uh, in J- no. Japanese? Vampire Chronicles? Uh, Vampire is Darkstalkers in Japan. Okay, so I didn't know that. For them, that's been Vampire. So, for... it is, it's, so it is. That's just the PSP. But yeah. Game. Uh, the yes, like essentially the P, uh, the PSP game is kind of like a remake of this, and then they added in the Chaos Tower concept. But this was the original release for it, and there's only about five thousand copies floating around. Uh, so I picked that up for my collection, and then last couple games I got uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam One on 360 uh, because I've been itching to play it again, and Spectral Force Three. I have no idea what the fuck this game is. Oh, I just yeah. saw it looked like a strategy rpg on the back and i looked it up and apparently they never released any other fucking games in this series in the u.s but for some ungodly reason they decided to release the third one over here i was like all right fuck it why not yeah Uh, so i picked it up you think they're waiting for that sale and they're like oh fuck we finally got a sale let's put let's put the other ones out there now yeah now now all the other ones are here coming (laughs) i'm excited i did it i brought i brought it the rest to the west fine the rest to the west Uh, yeah, so that's everything I got. I was supposed to have more shit, but uh, mail's going slow. Uh, slow mail. Go, you want to go? Uh, no, if you want to go, go ahead. Uh, sure, I'll go really quick. Um, all right. Yes. Uh, digitally, I got, let's see, I got a couple of Switch games. Um, Mark of the Ninja, uh, oh, yeah, Dragon Quest, K 
Cave Blazers, and the Collection of Mana. That was on mm-hmm. sale. Uh, I get that physical. Uh, yeah. I got these in the mail the other day. Got the, oh, oh I didn't know they went. Switch control. I didn't oh, know yeah, they, they went on sale. They sold out immediately. Oh. I, I had to actually buy it at work. They sold out fucking like that. Um, they they might restock them. I'm gonna play your cards right, Gore. Um, let's see. Oh, before I. Sh- well, uh, when I did they announce they were stocking them in? They just showed up. Oh, okay. They just showed up, and I happened to follow the Reddit that someone was like, "Hey, they're up." Okay. All uh, right. I picked up Mario Kart Double Dash. I, okay. I lost that in my uh, collection when I was trying to sell stuff off, and I was like, "Oh, I don't need GameCube games anymore." And I fucked up doing that. Uh, so I bought that back. And today I got this new. I forgot I bought this. So this is an interesting fucking thing. It's the uh, official Overwatch cookbook. Oh yeah, the I saw fuck? that. I saw that on GameStop.com they were advertising that. Yeah, I, I forgot like, it was a what? thing. So I just got an email from, from Amazon saying, hey, you saved money on your pre-order. I was like, what the fuck did I pre-order? Uh, this. So, um... This right here? That's why I actually keep all my pre-orders <laughs> uh, emails to my Gmail just so that way I can keep track of it. Oh, no, I forgot don't. something. I forgot something. Where is it? Yo, Adrian, where's the thing? It's in your ass. Oh, okay. I found it. Thank you. Here? You got, oh, you got oh, Soldier 76 buttermilk pancakes. Oh, hell yeah, man. I want to taste the freedom. <laughs> I'm actually excited. I, I, I was I would have like, canceled that pre-order if I knew, but now that I got it, I'm like, oh, that's cool. You got to try what? the recipes? All right. Yeah, I'll try some of them. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Play your cards, right, Gore? Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> I might All buy right. it, actually. All right, what'd you get? I saw it at GameStop. It was like $25 or some shit, though. Yeah, right uh, not worth it right now, but it'll, uh, GameStop, everything goes on sale for $2 later on. Well, today I got this uh, I got this package from somebody Hell from yeah. the podcast. Uh, I didn't open it yet. I I, have, I, I know you, what it you is. You want to hear in case it's fucking broken so you can show everyone. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, I know what it is, but I figured I'll open it right now. Uh, it's just that, right? There's nothing yeah. else in here. Just, right? just don't okay. show the address. I'm not sure, Andrew. That's why I showed this side. <laughs> just... There's addresses there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Why'd you put it on the bottom, too? So I, <laughs> I took this to Chris, hoping that I'd see him, so I'd have to pay for delivery. Then I didn't see yeah. him, and I was like, I don't want to, I don't have room to carry this back because I bought so much shit when I was out there. So I was like, I have to go to the post office. I'm just going to ship this. And after the only box they had, I was like, all right, fuck it. Hell, yeah. You went, oh, to, okay. uh, like, you went to the Grand Finals. I went finals. to the Grand Finals. See, I don't even need to go. All right, by Xfinity. That's the sequel to The Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> Overwatch oh, he's of us. All right, so he sent me my, my Cat America oh, samurai yeah. guy. Nice. Oh, he looks sweet, actually. I'm looking Should, at him uh, in the camera. Shake, shake it really quick. Does that sound like it's loose? Nah, nope. That's, that's good. Okay. Sounds good. All right, well, I got I got a couple things I need to send to Adrian now. So I'm still waiting on that hoodie for you, and I'm pissed. I'm well, you sorry. Gotta I already... wish, so that means it's gonna take about five months. Yeah. Which speaking of, I, I'm still I'm waiting for something. Sick so. of fucking wish advertisements on fucking YouTube, dude. I swear to God, I get the same fucking. Oh, I was wondering why Wish is so cheap. It's because they ship straight from the manufacturer. You should go on Wish. <laughs> I fucking get that ad. I swear to God, yeah. like every fucking video. And I. Swear I don't to get God. that ad. Uh, you know what I get? I get Grammarly all the time. Um, that. <laughs> And yeah, I always get comments. Too. I get like I, I've gotten like five comments on my. I made a wish video a few weeks ago, uh, and they all say like, "Actually, those are legit figures." Like the every time I, I, I like, I, I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. Like if they're legit figures, I don't give a fuck. Just leave me alone. Okay? Yeah, they're legitimate figures, but they're definitely not legitimate. And yeah, that's because they're definitely fake people trying to. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're legit too. No, those no. people, <laughs> those people are legit. Nah, they pay a lot of people. So uh, some of them sounded like actual like YouTubers. You know what I mean? Like YouTube people, not like uh, Derek uh, Wishman. Dunderson. <laughs> Derek Wishman. Nine zero four five one two. Yeah, nine zero four eight five. What the fuck was it? Oh, what was it? Um, was it Amazon? I think I saw. There was some fucking weird shit where uh, and and I was gonna show you guys. I forget if I did or not. But there was like a long trend of just. Uh, like fake Amazon profiles of just people like saying, yeah, I work for Amazon and here's my thing and here's my story. No. And like this string of like very obviously like bots or like fake people. Yeah, but mm-hmm. there was, and there were, there was the fucking most bizarre like 
it almost felt like living in some AI world for a second. We were like, what the fuck is going on? And you would oh. think almost for a second, like, maybe they just got paid off. And then one of the guys got caught. Um, someone took a screenshot of that guy saying his name was something completely different in the very first tweet. And someone's like, I think they're malfunctioning. <laughs> I think there's a glitch going on. It's in the Matrix. Yeah. All right, Gore, yeah. what else you get? All right, so back to the stuff I actually I picked though. These are my pick. Right, Adrian just got me that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't take out the Spider Man one though. Now I have a reason to put them together. Yeah, now that my boys again. Yeah, well, I mean, Captain America's gone, and Spider Man is is on lo- so oh, he's almost... on loan. He's on loan right now, <laughs> pretty much. He's on, he's on uh, dying legs. Yeah, we're seeing your boy yeah. Tom Hardy in a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, he's back though, supposedly. So he's gonna, he's gonna, he, you saw what the quote said though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, gonna be for one more. Shout movie, out, right? shout out to Tom's. No, no, no. Is that that uh, Ken Feige was specifically like? Also, he's the only superhero that we know can that can cross universes. So stay tuned for something fun. Yeah, like, because oh, no mean, other fucking superhero crosses universes. Fucking dumbest fucking. Uh, let's not let's not know that the. That, the, the Fantastic uh, Four all about like cosmic shit. Uh, but, yeah. uh, not even that. Let's just, let's forget that. Uh, Doctor Strange has the Multiverse of Madness movie coming out like right yeah, before that. Right. But um, yeah, yeah no, that, that's obviously saying that that they're gonna try to cross them over. Like I think the, the the rule, the thing that they're thinking, I think, is that they're gonna have Spider Man go in between. Spider Verse from Sony and, and the MCU from Disney. Yeah, I guess so, that's fine. Tom Holland's gonna get a good check though. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's, he's, he's in that. Uh, he's in um. Isn't he in like something big coming up too? Then he just get Charter, cast in something. Oh, Uncharted. That was like years ago. He yeah, got cast they, in that. They, they got uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> by the time you, they did, make did, the movie, he'll be the age of Nathan Drake. Did, George, you, did, so you, did you see the the funny coincidence? Is that uh, when they the day that they lost Spider Man, they lost the what's his name for Uncharted? Oh, the inch. Oh, okay. And um, the day they got Spider-Man back was the day they announced that they got a new director. It was in his contract. He has got to be Nathan Drake. Who was the director for Uncharted? I don't remember, actually. Because there was, like, four different ones. Travis before. Knight is it now. Travis Knight. Yeah, oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, that's a great oh. choice. That's the guy that did Bumblebee and uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. That's a great choice. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Kubo and the Two Strings. Uh, was oh, yeah. There, Bumble- Bumblebee was great. I haven't seen he that played. yet. I'm hesitant still. They had to get the Kubo guy to fucking um, fix the, the Transformer series. Get somebody that knows how to fucking, like, you know, make movies. Actual movies, not fucking loud noises with some visuals. Uh, you don't want car urination and racist stereotypes? I don't Dan, want low Dan Dutch Trachtenberg. angles of, like, girls' panties. You know, yeah, my Transformer was, was the one original. Oh, the 12, 10 Clover Lane guy? Yeah. And then, uh... Then, uh, he dropped out, and then Travis Knight, and... Okay. They should get the guy that did the uh, Uncharted short that came out like a month, I mean, a year they ago. Just cancel it. They should just cancel it. They should just cancel it. They should just do Last of Us now because no one gives a fuck about Uncharted just anymore. Re release right, the right, first sorry. Tomb Raider so, movie. Sean, what else you got, Gore? Okay. Well, I finally got this. It, it took a long time for it to get here. I had some shipping issues, but I finally got this fucking beautiful thing right here. <laughs> it's a Torbjorn hammer. Torbjorn. It's made it's right like Torbjorn. I don't have a hook. That's how he does it. Hell yeah. That's his Halloween costume, by the way. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I'm too tall for Torgan. And too fat, I think. But yeah, he's uh, it's pretty. No, he's no, I'm too, too fat. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's only chubby. But uh, this is really nice, actually. The paint job is really good. Um, and it's made out of foam, but it's like hard foam. So if you hit somebody with this, they're, they're going to get some injuries. So oh, yeah. watch out. Watch out. Watch out, criminals. All right, so I'm coming at you. Uh, I also, yeah, I went to Walmart the other day. I don't ever go to Walmart, but I went there because I had to pick up another lamp um, from my room. So I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. Uh, we'll look at the clearance video game stuff. And they had this brand new seal, 15 bucks. Rory McElroy's dumbass PGA Tour. Oh, yeah. It's pretty rare, actually, game. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it is. It's like used as like a $25 game. Sealed, it's like 40 45 oh, that's, so. a good, that's a good flip. Yeah. I, I'm probably going to flip it, but it's a game I don't have in my Xbox One collection. Uh, so I could sell it and get it back later used. I will so. say, that's the great thing about Walmart clearance areas, is you can find some weird oddities, like the I, I fucking DuckTales I got. I sealed PS2 games. Oh, yeah, yeah. My my Walmart, like, last year still had a uh, tri- uh, triple, the trilogy for uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, mm-hmm. Vice City, and San Andreas. I guess trilogy. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really count it as a trilogy, but 
whatever. Um, they still had that. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, people I know online have been getting, like, uh, what, what was the shitty Zelda game that came out on 3DS that was, uh, like, Tri- Triforce Heroes, right? Yeah. Is it yep. called that? Or is... Okay. That's a, what's the original game called? Uh, Legend of the... Or... Four Sword Adventures. Four Swords, there you go. Okay. For some reason, I was confusing those two. Yeah, yeah, but they were like five bucks. I couldn't find that at my uh, Walmart, but found that. That was pretty good. Uh, and I got a couple of things from OfferUp. I actually got a couple of NES in-box games. Pretty cheap. I think it was like altogether like 25 bucks for these. Uh, Time Lord. There you go. I don't know. My favorite either. Guardian of the Galaxy. I got Time Lord. <laughs> my favorite guardian of the galaxy. Uh, Demon Sword. Oh, my yeah. favorite. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of these games. And Codename Viper. Hell yeah. There you go. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never heard of them either. But that's flip material because I don't care. Um, and uh, I picked up a GBA game. Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Nice. Hell yeah. Back to farming. That's it. Or when are you gonna start playing uh, farming simulator competitively? Uh, I already did, I already won the championship. I think you know you're lying many... to me. Yeah, I am, but uh, I don't like that game series. So <laughs> that that takes farming simulation a little too far because that now it's just like it's literally a simulator. You know how you have all these fucking dumbass simulators like Goat Simulator. Ugh. That one's like no, it's a simulator. You have to do everything. You have to literally, or you have to plow, you have to do this, that, that, and I'm like, fucking, just streamline it, and maybe I'll play it. Make it fun. There's, like, no characters, too. It's just, like, fucking, you're a nameless guy. There's no people around. You just do it, put the fucking seeds in, and put the crops in the basket. You're done. Go to bed. Keep on farming. <laughs> it's like, it's like that. that's too far, I think. That's I get the, I, I, it's too far. <laughs> it's too far in the farm department. Um... Anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Damn it. What? I somehow accidentally swapped you guys around on Skype, so now you guys are looking in opposite directions of each other, and it's bothering me. Oh, whatever. Grow up. No. Oh. <laughs> Grow up. There we go. Now I got it so you guys are looking at each other. All right, cool. Grow up. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to move this way now. Fuck you, Gore. <laughs> all right. We're good. All right. Next dumbass segment. Oh, this is the trivia. Put it in here, right here. All right, get ready to watch Gore's amazing upset right uh, now. No, because we got. We, I, I gotta knock out some of these time codes beforehand, otherwise I will have to do it all later on. Now. I don't know why you do that though. Well, although I, because I can't. If I do the, the do if I do it naturally, I gotta keep the audio on. And it'll be desync by the end of it, for the reason that the doing it, playing it like that, does it that way. Put it in now. Nope. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll, we'll drop. We'll drop um, ins. We'll, so, we'll drop it in. We'll drop ins. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop. We'll drop ins. We'll drop uh, ins. Right now is everyone's favorite segment. David's rant. What am uh, I complaining about now? Uh, the opposite, actually. I'm gonna have you praise something this time, but that's only because you got 30 seconds this week. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving you uh, one that you can talk positively about, but you're not gonna have enough time to because you're a dick. So, uh, in 30 seconds, tell me why fighting games is so good. Fighting games are great because it allows for a ton of creativity. The uh, base rosters always have just enough variety and good fighting games to go ahead and allow a lot of different play styles. Uh, they have usually some of the most fantastic soundtracks. Honestly, when I think of my top favorite soundtracks, the vast majority of them are fighting games. Uh, another combination of why they're so good is just because of the creativity that goes into just the different dynamic and... and <laughs> All right, well, that was David's rant. So if you're into fighting games, I hope that 30 seconds turned you into it. <laughs> Maybe he, what, he'll get a minute. Who knows? Nah, fuck that. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. I guess, you, I guess now you have 15 seconds next week. <laughs> Wait, uh, why did he only get 30 seconds? I forgot. Because he said fuck you. That's what you get. He's like, well, fuck that. <laughs> oh, okay. So you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you get you gotta, 45 seconds. Fuck that one. Now you get 30 seconds. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, he's at 15 seconds next week. I know exactly yes, what I'm having to talk about next week. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna talk about dick. No, that's no. what you're gonna be talking about. All right. That's why you love dick so much. Time for news. Shake my nuts. Shake my nuts. 
That's that's gonna be his rant next week. <laughs> All right. Uh, first up is a uh, Nintendo PlayStation owner could be putting it up for auction. Yes, I am. Uh, Adrian and I were talking a little bit about this before the podcast because uh, Gore's a lazy fuck that doesn't understand how to schedule. Uh, and this is something that if I had real money, like I have, I, I live a comfortable life, uh, but I am definitely not throw the thousands that are going to be throwing at this console uh, kind of fucking privileged. And this is one of the few that is known in, I think it actually is the only known one in existence, even though reportedly there's about 200 that exists. Uh, but this is the only confirmed one out in the wild. And the guy's been going to a lot of different trade shows, showing it off. Uh, the M classic that I picked up recently, he actually went ahead and did a video uh, with them showing off the upscale features of the, you know, Sony, uh, the Nintendo PlayStation. And I would love to have this in my collection i already have a rough idea of how much is kind of my limit and i'm gonna try to go for it what's your limit uh i'm probably looking at about a grand i'm willing to drop on this it's gonna be more than a grand like i like know that? that's why i said i know that's why i said i have i am living comfortably money i know that this is gonna go for easily probably a good three five grand but and even but i'm gonna three or five grand you wouldn't like compensate and just say fuck it do it and then just sell their stuff and then get it back later on i'd have to sell all the stuff ahead of time to fucking pay for it and there's a few pieces in my collection i could get rid of like if you know to for some quick cash like uh i have a complete box copy how much of are you your, uh <sighs> last that evaluation house? i had is about ninety one thousand. you got that easy then no Uh, but no, like I could sell off like my complete box copy of uh, Panzer Dragoon on Saturn, and that goes for around five, six hundred bucks. Did you sell your Evo and stick? Oh man, could sell my Evo stick, but I don't think there's really a resale market for that. Uh, I could sell like my prototype uh, cartridge for Shin Megami Tensei uh, Double Children Ice Would Book. Would you like? Let's say it went for three thousand. I feel like that's in your realm of like stuff that you can you can. Uh, you can That'd be the pinnacle of your collection. It's literally like... That really would. That, That's... Like, like, fuck the rest of that shit. Fuck that Zebo behind you. It's like... Because you're, you're, try, you're f- trying to spend oh, how man. much on your gaming rig? Uh, I'm going to be dropping about two grand for it. Then you add the extra grand you got right there, and there you go. Well, that's where like a thousand of my money is coming from, is I'd, wi- I'd be willing to wait and hold off on my upgrade for my computer. Wait, I have a question. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> the the, the uh, no, Nintendo really, PlayStation. It, it, that Nintendo PlayStation, they're, they're going to probably put up for sale. The fuck are you talking Nintendo? Oh, you mean the, the one Nintendo? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, they, back they when Sony and Nintendo were partnered and they were working on creating the PlayStation together, uh, the one prototype that exists in the wild that we know that of, trivia, uh, right? that guy. Yep. So uh, I'm, David said, "Oh, I'll I'll put a grand towards it." Like that's gonna definitely go for more than a grand. I, I yeah, how much did it go for last time? Uh he got it for thirty-five bucks. He got it at a uh, business auction. Well, you're right. They already made an article about it, so I ain't gonna fucking sell for that. Uh, you got it for seventy five? Yeah, seventy five, that was it. Oh, uh, see? I knew it was something stupid low though. Seventy five dollars. I, I think it's gonna go for buy Chinese food and have enough for a video game. Five grand at least, I think. Oh my god. I, I, I suspect it'll probably go for a good three, five grand. Yeah. Adrian, let's send the pie. I wanna go get some Chinese food. <laughs> or what's your address? Just say it right now, and I will send it to your house. Uh, one four eight. Fuck me now, street. <laughs> it's a weird. So, shit. I don't know why it's called. I, that. I asked. I except Chris. I asked David. I said, wouldn't you be willing to solve some of your collection to get to get that thing and afford it? Oh, I heard that. I just didn't know what yeah. the fuck he was talking about. I <laughs> I also heard his little fucking uh, comment about be, me being late too, but I decided not <laughs> to say anything about it. Be the there are definitely man. some pieces of my collection that it's like if I could sell them ahead of time to get the money for it, man, I, I'd be so fucking tempted. But yeah, because I do have a few pieces of my collection that are a few hundred dollars a piece. 
the resale value on that thing, you can flip it immediately for like for more money. I would never. No, that that would never get. That would never leave my. I would, would sell some of my collection for that. Hundred percent. Yeah, it, well, that's what I meant. Like, if I managed to somehow get my hands on that, I would never resell that thing. That you would have to pry it from my cold, dead fucking hands. And even then, I'd want to be buried with it because fuck the rest of the world. It's mine. I'll just dig it up. Okay, I'm gonna be cremated. No, I'll dig your ashes <laughs> up. We'll find, well, yeah, you'll be cremated with the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking it with me. Three grand. I, I would. I would sell a bunch of shit, but I would go for it. Yeah, three grand. For like that, that thing? Gives a shit. Fuck Nintendo and PlayStation. Xbox, baby. Dude, that, that is Xbox, literally... Baby. You will never... Is it? You're very likely yeah. to never see another one of those again. Xbox. Is, suck it. Degeneration <laughs> X, too. I like X. That's a good letter. There we go. That thing, that thing would only gain like value in time, too. Touchdown. No receiver. There. X, baby. Three grand. X gonna three give grand. it to you. Three grand, three grand. All right, do? next story. What would you do if I got now, that? Now I'm just stretching. I fucking oh man. Give you a handy for it. Wow. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> three thousand handy <laughs> <laughs> from you every day for the rest of your Jesus. life. Dave. And you pay me some money. Yeah, yeah it's like one of those like, <laughs> like get get money every month. I mean, every week thing from the lottery or some shit. So he gives you handies. <laughs> <laughs> you try, he tries to date. Oh, sorry, honey. I can't. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I have to bring my friend here. <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, not having any money like David, uh, the Mario and Luigi RPG series developers file for bankruptcy. RP oh. and peace, pepperoni and cheese. Is it all the RPGs they made? Like all of them? Oh, all David, of them? you put the story in there. Tell me. Oh. All yeah, of them? it's the uh, Superstar Saga line. Uh, so uh, all the, the developers oh. behind all those. Okay. Sorry, Bowser, your inside story sucked. So they, they made all of them, like even the new Superstar Saga? Yeah. That's just a remake? Wow. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. It was a neat little side game ser- uh, for the franchise, and I'm always a sucker for a good RPG, and those were always, you know, they were never phenomenal games, but they were always good. I don't know. Superstar Saga was pretty fucking good. It was good. It was I, pretty. I would, it's really I wouldn't good. call it great, but I'd it. It was great. It was phenomenal. You're, now I you're just it. being contrarian. Shut no, your No, actually, not for that game. That was only one of those games I played. Classic GBA game. Go check it out. Rest in peace to whatever the fuck their studio's I name is. I never played them. I always wanted to, but it was never just in my cards to play. I would like playing other shit. And well, I, heard version, I heard the 3DS version. I had the 3DS version. not like amazing or anything. But uh, the original GBA game is really good. RP and Peace Alpha Dream. Uh, actually, that's not true. They did Bowser Inside Story, right? I played that yeah, one. Yeah, and I think they did the Peach one as well. Super Princess Peach. Oh, I have that. Let's see who what the fuck their name is. I just I want, said, no, shut up. <laughs> I want to myself. Alpha Dream. You can just shut your fucking mouth. I don't even say it anyway. So it doesn't even say their name on it, just says Nintendo. That's fucked up. Well, that's, that's why they died. Nobody knew who they were. Yeah, they can hire them. Rest in peace, Super Princess Beach guys. <laughs> this right. game is actually extremely offensive because uh, I wanted to play fucking Mario. No, because everybody talked about how that game was like, offensive because you play you finally get to play as Peach and she just fucking cries and fucking uses her umbrella to hit people. I'm just like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just Nintendo. Is that really surprising that they'll do something stupid? I'm like, I don't hey, know. Chris, they, hey, Chris, they go, hey, Chris, Chris why did they do this? <laughs> it's like, dude, I don't know, man. They make fucking shit out of cardboard nowadays. So I don't care. It's crazy, guys, dude. We never talked about that Ring Fit game, though. I, I, okay, I, I, I ordered it, so we'll talk about it sometime. I, I, I'm gonna get it too, cause it, we never talked about when they. Oh, first we're gonna be so skinny, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna be fucking like uh, gonna be transparent. Yacked. We're gonna be transparent. Oh no, yeah, we're gonna be we'll yacked. Can see us. We'll be like uh, we'll be, we'll be Doodle Bob. It looks kind of fun though. The, cause no. he's, what, the Ring Fit Adventure? That, yeah, that, that game looks fun. That's why oh. I was get. That's why I was gonna get. It. 
when they first showed it though remember that did you ever see the that first video fucking guy yeah and then and then it's just like everybody was like using this thing like, whoa and then show what the fucking game was i was like and then they showed oh, another trailer that, yeah yeah and then they showed a trailer like two days later with the really the really um happy guy <laughs> that was creeping me out but um yeah that was like oh it looks pretty good but uh whatever. speaking of looking good but not Press really peace, guys uh, alpha whatever pokemon sword and shield has some more information about it Oh, yeah. yeah, it got a bunch of news dropped about it uh, last couple days, uh, but the one I really want to talk about was the fact that it's going to have 18 gyms in it, so one for every Pokemon type, and it's going to be divided into like a minor league and a major league, uh, which I think definitely shows that this is going to be a much longer game, which is fucking going to be nice to see. Um, they've also talked about how they're going to have the ability to change the nature of the Pokemon manually in some capacity, which is good for competitive. Uh, a few other little minor things, but shut up, Gore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next I'm story. Coma. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm Pokey sure coma. I'm, gonna, I'm for sure going to skip on the Pokemon this year. This yeah. is going to be the last one I get. <laughs> That's what everyone says. You sound like me with Call of Duty. It's the last one, I swear. No, the only reason why I'm getting this one is because I have a bunch of people hey guys, I know that are here doing it. Hey, guys, here with another first day of boxing. Oh, boxing. <laughs> Call of Duty, been excited for this one. <laughs> Against my better judgment. <laughs> All right. Next story oh, is uh, the uh, May trailer revealed its CEO, CEO Taku. Yep. Axel Lonex character trailer. Talk about Fucking, this trailer was great. Uh, it mirrored a lot of what kind of they did with uh, Xerd for May. I fucking love her new design. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just love that goddamn hat. Uh, and then from there, uh, a lot of her moves look just the animation in fucking Guilty Gear 2020 is absolutely gorgeous. It, everything about this game just is looking amazing. I want the full version of that goddamn fucking song now. And I like what they did with a lot of her moves. Uh, they kind of went with more larger sea creatures this time around, which will give her more hurt box, uh, hit box space, which is great. Cause that was definitely one thing she was kind of lacking in. Uh, and it definitely looks like the very vamp to her style is absolutely welcome. And they baited Angie Moto hard by showing off a uh, butterfly at the end of the trailer. Uh, Cause that's a common kind of creature associated with him. Uh, but it ended up being Axel Lowe, who seems to now be in full control of his time powers, which is really fucking and sweet uh so it would be really curious to see i'm still waiting for my fucking boy faust though uh still hoping that Melia gets in there and uh zappa i'd love her zappa to return uh but man everything they've been showing off with this game has been fantastic so far i can't wait for this game oh yeah hell yeah man all right next story <laughs> hell yeah it, no it, it looks cool um i, I never I played see a trailer, here, but... though so uh you better play pick the... up 2020 I played the uh, one that was on the first one that came to PS4 and like a story mode. Oh, uh, the well, original x -Third. Yeah, I played it kind of. We played a little bit of it. Me and a couple other people were at my house. We played a little bit of it and then we watched the entire. They had like a story mode, but okay. you could just watch it. You didn't need to play it. And we just watched it. And we, uh, we were like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> The, the Guilty Gear storyline is a very dense motherfucker uh, <laughs> just because of the fact that every single game that's been There's released is in canonical order and the re-releases that they do also continue the story. So like for Exerd, they did Rev uh, after that, which continued the story after Exerd and then Rev 2 came out, which continued the story after uh, Rev. And they also did that for like the XX, uh, the Accent Core, Accent Core Plus, XR. Uh, I don't think Plus R added anything different. Uh, but all of those went ahead and kept continuing on different bits of the story. And even like this, th this is how fucked the Guilty Gear storyline is. There is a pachinko game that is part of the canonical story of fucking Guilty Gear. Of course. It's just there's so, so much to the lore. It's one of the most absolutely batshit and stained storylines. I fucking love it to no end. Uh, but it's definitely a nightmare for anyone that actually cares about, you know, the lore in their fighting games uh, to come into blind. If, you know, 2020 is going to be your first game, it's going to be a freaking nightmare getting into it, especially when you're like, oh, cool. You know, what's what's this May character? Oh, she was a fucking sea, you know, an air pirate. Oh, but she's also Japanese, which means she's got weird inherited spiritual powers and she may be turning into a gear and she may be a master of key energy. What the guilty? fuck does any of that mean? 
Uh, she, she is not. Guilty. Sole bad guy is the titular guilty here. No, but are they guilty? <laughs> Adrian was like making a joke, but what, the joke is actually a thing in the lore. Yeah, no, that's actually where the name comes from. Yeah. Soul Bad Guy is the Guilty Gear. Soul ba- His no, name I, is Soul Bad Guy. Doesn't he gear. sound guilty? Are they guilty? Oh, they're guilty. They're guilty. But yeah, Soul Bad Guy is the name of the main protagonist. Soul He's Bad Guy, hero. that sounds like the least guilty person I've ever heard. Is she as guilty as that one well, that, that shot the fucking person in Dallas? Because I hope so. We need justice. Justice for whoever the fuck he's talking about. Well, justice is one of the main gears in the game. So oh, there you go. Next story. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Next story. Uh, I don't know what the fighter, fuck you're talking about. A fighter about. That, that Gore knows. Terminator showed up in trailer form. <laughs> Terminator. <laughs> Terminator showed up. Dude, Terminator. The, fuck, the fucking fire. Yeah. Yeah. All right. People were were giving me shit because I thought because I don't because I'm stupid. Uh, I thought. <laughs> It was just like whenever he no, goes on fire, he just he loses his skin and then he just becomes the the skeleton. Uh, but supposedly that's just a trans transition to like I guess if he dies he gets revived or whatever he comes back. Yep. I just thought because Scorpion burns him, I thought like if he gets burned he'll lose his that skin. Was a, that was a transition and they knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah I but he was burning him just like in the movie. So I thought that they were just doing something cute there, like oh yeah, there you go. Uh, if you burn him, you'll lose the skin. Just like it, it might not happen with many characters because I don't think a lot of characters can burn. But um, I thought it was a cool little thing. Uh, but that that trailer was sick, so good. I will say though, the impersonator is a little uh, a little odd. It doesn't exactly sound like Arnold, uh, especially the first time he talks. He's just like, yeah. "Oh, you're a cyborg too." <laughs> it's like it's a little bad. But then later on, he says, uh, "Get over here," and I was like, "That's not like Arnold." You kind of nailed that. Uh, that's only two times he talks, though, so I can't really critique any other times. But, um, yeah, that, that trailer was great. His moveset looks awesome. Uh, the way he moves, the way he looks, looks exactly like uh, how Schwarzenegger plays him, uh, especially in the later movies, like Genesis. You know, he's older now, so it makes sense. Um, yeah, I think they nailed it for the most part. Again, I'm not, like, big into fighting games, but I, I'm, I love Terminator. So just looking at him here, I'm just like, he just he looks great. He fits. I mean, I, I never thought Terminator wouldn't fit, but are they gonna add? Of all the characters they're announcing, besides Spawn, I'm like, he's like the one that makes I, sense. I just want them to announce Goose for Mortal Kombat. Uh, from the Untitled Goose Game. Honks. The Untitled Goose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be weird trying to kill him like as certain characters that have to do like, you know, they have to do certain animations. <laughs> they have to like crouch down now to fucking get this goose. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, That's why they can't have like two low, short He's gear. throw immune. He, he's yeah. just immediately just top tier. He's like Yoda for Soul Calibur 4. He's just like, you can't fucking hit him. <laughs> Unless he just do kicks. <laughs> oh, man. I had 360, so I had to deal with fucking Yoda's dumbass. Alright. Anyway. Um, nobody else cool. wants to say anything. Terminator looked great. He's coming next week if you got the battle pass or whatever the fuck it's called. The yeah, and then uh, in addition, they also uh, finally revealed that they're doing third variations for all the fighters, yes. uh, which yes, is definitely like something a... that is fucking long overdue. The game should have had three variations to begin with. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, I still feel very strongly that they should just up make a fucking system to go ahead and allow people to bring in custom uh, loadouts. Yeah. especially where in the marketing for this game it was such a heavily touted feature and to see that competitive has no fucking access to it is heartbreaking you go ahead you massively tout this big thing how much is going to change and uh modify the fluidity of gameplay and c- competitive can't touch it. it it kills me still that they fucking went that direction um but at least we get another variation. I imagine that for competitive, uh, a lot of players will be happy about that. They'll get a lot more variety going. Uh, the one thing that I saw that I was excited about is um, Shang Thong. Shang Songs. Shang Thong. Uh, <laughs> Shang Thong. Shang Thong. Shang Thong. Shang Thong. 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 No, uh, Shang Songs. Third variation is all the ninja moves. So everything that everyone was like, why the fuck does he not have this that is literally the point of his character he actually gets to have all those variations as part of his third variation now which is good uh but yeah all in all uh i 
glad to see that that I'll revitalize competitive a bit, uh, but I still don't fucking care. I have 40 hours in that game, and I've played maybe two hours of it. You have 40 hours in it, but you only played two? Because the rest of it was me letting the AI run through tower to unlock shit. Oh, <laughs> I did a little bit of that, too. <laughs> ah, that's a great game. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you know, it's to be okay. honest, that's also probably the not the best looking game, but one of the best looking games this year. Like uh, on Xbox One X HDR, that game looks fucking gorgeous. Looks so good. Hype. It's great. Uh, really okay. fun. I mean, I'm not I'm not a competitive fucking jackass like you, so I just like to play games. Um, no offense, but fuck yeah, you. Go ahead, yeah, mute yourself. Go go take your vape. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, I thought I, I thought it looked cool. It just the Terminator. I, I'm glad the variation, all that shit, is getting fixed. That's cool. I mean, it took a little too long, but uh, I'm glad so- certain things are getting fixed. I do think the custom loadout stuff is annoying because uh, I've I've seen people that I watch play games. Just you know, I want to watch them play, and they they keep talking about like it just sucks that we have to set up our own like custom thing every time we like meet up or whatever. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, but anyway, also they showed like the, the a couple new skins at the end of this trailer. You got Cassie looking like Harley Quinn. I uh, got Kano looking like Cyborg from Teen Titans. Um, who was the other one? If somebody, uh, uh, Johnny Cage. Uh, I don't know. He just has a tuxedo on. I, don't, I think it's supposed to be him like at a, like a movie premiere or whatever. Yeah. Because he's a movie star. I don't know. It's cool. Anyway, and they showed a little bit of Harley Quinn. I mean, Cassie has Harley Quinn like gameplay. It, it looks really good actually. But anyway, that's it. Terminator. Awesome T one T eight hundred. Sorry T one thousand. Next time, I don't know how the fuck they're gonna make that work. <laughs> Liquid metal is not gonna really work well. But there you go. That's it. Cool. Next is uh, Sindel, I think. And then after that is Joker, and then Spawn, which kind of sucks because yeah. I want Spawn next. <laughs> but Spawn. I guess Joker. I'm surprised Joker didn't come out now. But I guess a different type of joker than the movie joker so. yeah I probably just still felt like it would have been good to kind of capitalize on yeah but. but i guess they're also capitalizing with the terminator movie so yeah, yeah. everything's got terminator in everything now. fucking ghost recon this gears uh there's a terminator game of course there's a movie it's like for the next couple months it's gonna be fucking terminator everywhere which i'm okay with that Month as long of as terminator as... you know it'd be great if all, all the terminator stuff is really good except the movie <laughs> Like I said, the movie sucks, but hey, he's cool in Gears, he's cool in Mortal Kombat, he's cool in Ghost Recon. Even that shitty game that came out is actually pretty good. I don't know why I call it. Are ever going to play Horde mode together in that, or can I uninstall that game? Horde mode? We'll probably play competitive. Oh, yeah, I I know Adrian likes Horde mode. Yeah, for Gears. Yeah. All right, next story. You don't need to uninstall, you never play your Xbox anyway. Why why did you even. Because I have a lot of games, and I got no little room. No little room. But you don't play Xbox, so who gives a fuck? I just leave it installed. I play it occasionally. Whatever. Speaking of Xbox, uh, the Nether is getting updated in Minecraft for the first time. Oh my god! The Nether? Nether. I guess that's never been updated. So, cool. Next uh, story. Anyway. <laughs> no, uh, I know what the Nether is. Isn't that the, like the Underworld or some shit? Isn't yeah. that where the, the end is? Yeah. Uh, but I guess there's always that been... never came to Xbox. No, 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 it's no, been no, on no, Xbox did, for like did, seven it years. It's been out, what but the they're actually updating it. You're saying? Um, oh, they're updating it. Okay. Yeah, so they actually. I thought you said they're updating Minecraft to add the Nether. Oh, I'm no, like, what the God. fuck? <laughs> I was like, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I guess there's always been issues with it that that specifically a notch was was stubborn about having, finally trying to get rid of. Where like, I guess another like there'd be like a chance where if you're just mining that just lava would be there. Like it's a random chance they're they're clearing out that stuff, uh, okay. making it e- more easier to see down there because that place like a bomb inducing nightmare, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that. But it's cool. Everyone got hyped about that. Good for them. Good for them. Hey, yeah, pro- good for you. Good oh, for you. Oh, good for you. It's been uh, ten years since that happened. Actually, more. I think it was two thousand eight that that happened. Speaking, speaking of, of Terminator, that was for the Terminator Salvation movie. You have said that hasn't happened. Oh, good for you. Actually, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah, go for before it. You, uh, can we add something else to the to the thing that we, we could talk about? Uh, what is it? Uh, I saw the new Doom movie. I know it's a movie, but it's based on a game. So, and I think we're going to be talking about Joker for most of the time on uh, not on our movie podcast anyway. So, I wanted to mention it okay, later so. on. We don't need to do it now. We can do it later. No, I'll do it right now. I'm not in the mood. 
I wrote it down. <laughs> Fuck. No, I meant later in the podcast. I don't mean like. Right, no, right, talk right. about it now. I don't feel like it now. See now. Now, now I'm all. See now I'm all like uh, I'm all calm and shit. I need to get I get I need to get angry. All right, well, all right. I watched. Shut the fuck up. There I you watched, go. You're angry now. I watched it last night. Perfect time. It was like three o'clock in the morning. I was tired. Didn't I'm give a fuck. Didn't want to watch it. So it was the perfect time to watch it. Um, I did a reaction for it too because I, I was just I like, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, that's what I was like. Uh, <laughs> Undertale thing going up. Uh, I'm gonna make that a weekly thing. Oh, cool. So. I'm, I might, I don't know, I might put, it, it's only, I think, six up, uh, six I got people that you're playing it in real time, so like, man, I hope you don't do voices anymore, and you're just like, I like, <laughs> <laughs> you <don't> like it. <laughs> oh, I hope he doesn't kill any more characters. <laughs> <laughs> First time playing, I'll put that in the title, so people know. I, it was pretty positive, though. I didn't, I don't even think I had, like, one dislike. Surprised. I know because Undertale exactly. people I know are fucking crazy. So yeah, but they like watching like, their You don't play it the way I want you to play it. Fuck you. Huh? I think you, should, you should probably squeeze the reactions pretty good because uh, you're good using those. For what? Undertale reactions. Yeah, I mean it's a little, it's a little old, right? So I should put reaction in the title. Is that what you? Uh, is that Undertale what you're play through reaction. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I put that. Sure. That video. Anyway, that video. Found it. You found a video. Good for there you, you go. man. Anyway, refresh Doom. What? Refresh your video. What? For... I don't know refresh and shit. I don't you now have a fuck. down vote. What? <laughs> refresh like I had it on a tab. Here, here, there you go, Gorg. You got your first down vote on that video. Uh, at least I fucking make videos. All right, so. All right. Shut up. Because now you're getting no. me angry. All right. I, Doom Annihilation came out. It's based on the Doom games, obviously. The thing he didn't get during the trivia, spoiler. It, it hasn't happened yet. Um, he's, he didn't get that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> take minor victory. Um, I wasn't excited at all for it because it, way back, like a few months ago, they showed a fucking mini teaser for it and it looked like dog shit. It looked like the biggest like YouTube red fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and since then, they haven't fucking marketed it at all. It was like, hey, it's coming out October 1st. Yeah, here's another 30-second teaser. I mean, we don't give a fuck. Um, and it's out today, or yesterday, I guess. Uh, I watched it yesterday. And it was fucking... It was extremely cheap looking. It was the same shit as the last Doom movie, except this time they actually called them demons. Or as, the, as they say in the movie, demons. Um... And it was bland. Aliens kind of light. It was like Aliens light. I'm talking about like the movie Aliens. It's just like a bunch of space marines go into a place and it's closed off and they have to survive from hordes of fucking demons. Um, and it was about as bland as the last the last Doom movie. But the last Doom movie had like it had charm to it that I I, I really like that movie. Not right. because it's good, but it's it's bad. But I enjoy that movie. This one, I don't know. This is like it's flat looking. The cinematography is whatever. The special effects are fucking either okay considering what it is. It's a straight to DVD video game movie, or fucking like embarrassing. Uh, and there's like a couple moments where like the green screen, like just the green screen itself. Like there's a character that's supposed to be in 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 a in another world. It's hell. But um, it's fucking bad look it, like it's like she's like supposed to be jumping out of like uh this world or whatever it makes sense if you see a movie uh and it's just like fucking like it's so bad looking the green screen it's like it was like it, and let me just say all the stuff you want to see in a doom movie all the hell stuff you want to see all the the imps and hell knights and all this shit uh you get a little bit of that throughout the movie most of the time you see the zombified humans that's really it uh you get a couple of the uh imps which look terrible um to be fair, they are practical effects, so I give them credit there. They made it. It's just makeup, but they look pretty bad. Uh, but the all the stuff you want to see, you want to see hell, you want to see all these cool demons, you want to see some action, you want to see the BFG. It's all in the last 10 minutes, and it's barely, barely worth it. <laughs> At the end, it's How like... How long is it? It's like, no, it's like 95 minutes. It's a full-length movie. Um, it's longer than Rambo I feel was. like a Doom short would be cool. I've been saying that for fucking years. I want to see the guy. I've said this for years. I want to see the guy that did Hardcore Henry do a 
uh, either a full length movie. I think he could do it, uh, or a, a short. I think a short. I, and all this is, Doom this guy's is, vision. I I even I don't even know if I'd go with that. I'd say you just go go easier with it. I'd say make it like and, and you could copy and shit. You copy this place with fucking Halo too. Is uh make it from the point of people like like all hunkered down like oh we're getting killed and you see like a bunch of the bullshit like you see a fucking Doom guy like, you see just fucking right. shit exploding up there and yeah. And then you see, uh, like, Halo the, forward onto Dawn did that. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's where you like, see Master Chief just like fuck up a couple of uh hunters and stuff. Yeah, I I think I think putting in in, in uh POV, POV would be good, really good too. Just like have all the actual like I see that. the HUD bars and everything up there. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, not, not even that. Just the POV maybe see through his visor. <laughs> yeah. So you just, have the, but but isn't that? But no, no HUD. I just mean like you see and it through then his like visor. That for, Hard Is no. it not that, no? Is that is it not like that kinetically for uh, Doom Guy? Yeah, it, it is, but you don't need that. I don't think you really. Oh, need yeah, that. Kind of, I, no, that, I, I think that'd be a little distracting. It, it, like Hardcore Henry did it perfectly, where it was just like not that it's a video game or anything. But I see. I think, the way I'm thinking of it is I'm thinking of like Halo Reach, you know, where it's like if you yeah, get, get fucked up, you know, you'll see like some of the yeah, HUD you like see like even now and cracks in there and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's that's cool, but I don't even mean HUD like you'll see his health or some shit in a mini map or whatever. Um, which that a is map. a thing that is that's a thing that's in the Doom universe. Like you actually put it on and it does show you like this is where your objective is or whatever, and here's a, a couple other things or whatever. I just you know I I want it whatever they can do. I want a first person. Is Doom, Doom guy movie. not in that movie? No, he's not in either of them. Like they don't put him in. They, you don't even see the suit at any point. There's no. There's a few Easter eggs in this, and when I say Easter eggs, I mean like they they might as well look at the camera and go, John Carmack. And literally, someone says like this guy's name is John Carmack. It's just like a dead person. I'm like, fuck. it's like I mean I I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of other Easter eggs, so that's just one of them. There's one that's even a reference to Wolfenstein. I was just like, all right, it's like all right, cool, I guess. It, it it was not terrible, but it was just bland. I wish it was terrible, because then I'd be like, "Hey, it was fucking awful, bro. I hated it, but I it, loved it." it. it I it, wish they were in the movie. They're like, "Man, this this is eternal. This is a, oh, this doom is eternal." <laughs> and then they looked at the camera and said, "Out November twenty second. I'm like, "What are they talking about?" <laughs> uh, but yeah, doom uh, annihilation is a uh, it's bland. Good shit. It's like, it, Good shit. It reminds me of like like back in like the 2008, 2009, maybe 10 era where you had all these like bullshit movies. Yeah, those bullshit video game movies that went straight to DVD. Like they had the Dead or Alive movie and Tekken. You know, I will say I actually kind of like the Tekken movie. It wasn't great. It It was like rated R too, which was kind of cool. That was the only thing I thought was cool about it. I was like, whoa, and and fucked up in this. And you know what? Considering what Dead or Alive is as a franchise, the Dead or Alive movie wasn't bad. That one was PG-13, which was weird. <laughs> like, you know, they should have swapped the ratings. Like, I think Dead or Alive should have been rated R and Tekken should have been PG-13. But yeah, no, I didn't hate those. I had a good time with both of them. Just like I had a good time with Doom. I have a good time with a lot of video game movies. I, I hate to admit that because a, a lot of them are fucking awful. Well, that's the problem is the bar is so low that it's like anytime you get something that it's like, I mean, yeah, it's kind of in the spirit of what, you know, it's being based after. It's like, yeah, fuck it. It's serviceable. And I'll give this movie credit. There are times where the main character, who's a female, so whatever, that's fine. Uh, I want Doom Gal, though. Even Doom Gal. I'll take Doom Gal. I don't give a fuck. I just want the, I want to see the suit. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's what the character is, that suit. Um, but the problem is, is that, like, she's cool and she does cool things, in this, like, she kills a dude while sliding across the ground or whatever. She does cool action movie things, but it's, like, generic action movie shit. doesn't feel like Doom. There's a couple of moments where it's just like, oh, it's almost like Doom, like, the last ten minutes. There's a couple of cool scenes. There's one where, it, like, there's a shot where they kind of replicate the, the box art of the original Doom where, like, he's being grabbed. Kind of. Not exactly. But you could tell that's what they're going for. Um, and it, it was cool, but it was just cool. I mean, Doom is not a series where I, I feel like, like, it like, shouldn't be this hard to make a fucking movie about it. Yeah. They like of all so fucking far. games. Doom is about one thing. Take giant fucking guns. Fuck up demons. It yeah. should not be this hard to make a fucking good movie out of it. Hell, even if they even want to re like do a movie based on Doom three, I think that would be a good idea. Like, he's not, he's not like invulnerable feeling like Doom guy is nowadays, especially in that last one. Um, but 
it still felt like doom. Like there's still like there's demons everywhere. You're doom guy. Got to go save people if you want. And mainly you're just saving the world, like the galaxy, I guess. But uh, I don't know. This one just feels like we're on a space station. Everybody's getting picked. Out. It just feels like a generic horror movie. It's just like aliens. Like I said, like everybody keeps getting picked off. Um, and I mean, there's some nice blood of, and gore, I guess. I'll give it that. You know, you see some guts, you see some decapitations. I don't know. Some really bad after effects, though. <laughs> like whenever yeah, I, a, a Hell Knight shows not. up and I don't know. Aaron, go ahead. It, it should not be this hard to make a fucking Doom movie. It really yeah. shouldn't. I do want to give him credit because you can feel the movie was like super fucking cheap. Like it, it was probably like a couple million dollars to make this. And I feel bad because there's no way with that budget they were going to be able to do what I want and everybody else wants. Uh, well, I guess they could, but it look like shit. Like it look really bad. Um I don't know. I, I, I do. I, w- I would rather have a 30 minute movie where Doom Guy kills a few demons, like not even a ton of demons, just like a few like, a, oh, he gets into a room with like, I don't know, a fucking uh, a pinky or just a demon uh, and I don't know, a hell knight. Oh, he has to fight these two. And it's like a 10 minute action scene. That's fine. And then the rest is whatever. You know, he fights a cyber demon at the end. That'd be dope. But you don't get any of that. You get like one demon at the end. You get an imps and hell knights. I think oh, you get yeah. hell knights. I can't tell if they, these are supposed to be hell knights in the movie. Um, but like because they look completely different than they do in the video game, which is another thing that's kind of annoying because uh, the designs don't even look like Doom. They just look like I don't know, just look like fucking regular ass like random demons you see in the Conjuring movies or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, it's 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 whatever. It's like a four out of ten. It's not terrible. But it's below average, and uh, they tried, I guess, with the budget they had. I don't know. Maybe the budget was big. I, I I don't know, but I doubt it, considering how fucking there was like no marketing for it, and it's just like eh, it's out on DVD, whatever. It's not even on Netflix. Netflix even want it. They said, "No, oh, fuck that. Put it on Blu-ray. <laughs> I don't want that shit." Uh, anyway, there you go. Doom Annihilation. Uh, it was a uh... poo poo. But that, Doom's coming out soon. The actual Doom. Real Hype for that. Real Doom. Real uh, that real Doom shit. Oh, by the way, there's another Easter egg that really annoyed me. <laughs> One guy just randomly yells because he's like killing demons. He's just like, "Yeah, that's right. I'm the Ultra Nightmare." I'm like, "Fuck you." <laughs> it's like because that's one of the difficulties in Doom. I'm like, "Fuck you." You're just like trying too hard. I, I laughed at it, but it's like thinking about it, I'm just like they just crammed all these references in without actually making a good movie. But whatever. Anyway, good. That's dumb. Anyway, Those are when what's the next? only ones that are watching that are the fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, next Let's make it. Is uh, there's no multiplayer in Last of Us Part Two? Oh yeah, that's upsetting. Um, From upsetting, setting is fine. Uh, Just focus on you. the fucking story and that, call it a day. That's fine too, but I mean, multiplayer in Last of Us is still, and I will stand by it, is still PlayStation's best multiplayer game they have on there. I don't think they made a better one hard to in the whole PS4 lifespan. Uh, exclusively, I should say. I yeah, it's a better one. Uh, Last of Us is surprisingly like good. I didn't think it would be. I went and I was yeah, like, oh, it seems like a fuck around. Because that, that was also in the time where everyone had their own fucking dumbass uh, multiplayer mode in every game. Spec Ops yep. had one. Dead Space 2, Bioshock 2. Yep. Um, what else? There's other games, but. Condemned. C- Condemned was actually really good. <laughs> Did you ever uh, play Condemned 2 multiplayer? It's really good. I played one match that scared the fucking shit out of me because I. It's I, good, man. I know. All I did was start. Like, all right, what do I do? I think I, think I, I was like, I thought I spawned the wrong way. Is it turn around? I spawned around. I turn around. Literally face to face me is someone in a pig mask. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, yeah. whoa, whoa, Jesus. Fuck. Well, there's a lot of that in that multiplayer is that like it's all about like the criminals hunting down. They, you're hunting down each other and stuff, so there's gonna be a lot of times where they just pop out of the dark and shit. It, it was really good. Condemned too. I, I highly recommend it. Anyway, uh, but Last of Us Two. I mean, Last of Us One. I'm sorry. Last of Us One multiplayer was really fucking good. We it played was that so not good. long ago either. Like no, it months still ago. holds up. Holds uh, yeah, up really good. Still, still very fun. Um, I'm saying that's not gonna come back. The way they phrase it, they said that uh, that faction, they love faction, it will come back somehow. Some it way. will come back. Maybe, yeah. maybe in a, a, maybe they'll update it sometime. Uh, maybe it'll have its own little thing. I don't know. Um, I Over really hope it comes back somehow. I, I'll even pay twenty dollars to download a multiplayer thing of that. Like, easy, I'll do that. Um, but at least this is the positive thing for me. At least I don't have to buy PS Plus now. So there you go. 
because I don't have it. And uh, there's no that was the only time I would be like, I need to get PS Plus because I want to play online. No I would online. Sure, I would have sure put some time in that. I would have. I would have too. But I have to look at the. There's a silver lining there. <laughs> So that's it. And I guess the other silver lining is now you don't have to worry about like, oh, man, I should really stop playing this and play some multiplayer because I really want to. It's not there. Don't worry about it. Just play this fucking single player. It's Idiot. Be, it'll be phenomenal, but it, it's a little bit of a bummer. But you know what's not oh, yeah. a bummer? Segue yeah. into what game does have multiplayer now. Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah. Well, they yeah. already had multiplayer, but now you can play with friends. Because they already had the multiplayer, right? You just yeah, play yeah. with gonna, fucking Randy's, though, right? I'm going to make the uh, title. Super Mario Maker 2 has better multiplayer now. Has better multiplayer. Yeah. That's better. Has uh, thank God. Better. This is the fucking update. It should have been there from fucking day one. I don't know why. No shit. That was not mm-hmm. there. Uh, I, think I don't you, know why it took watch, four months. Almost. If you watch our reaction to us doing it, literally the, the one thing that make that we all freak out at and all get excited for was there's one player. We're like, yeah, well, that's going to be so much fun to play with the boys, have some fun. Play some Mario yeah. Maker. Oh, it's not there. It's because... Uh, leaderboards aren't working with the other. It's like fuck, it. fuck leaderboards. I'd ra- I'd much rather play with friends over leaderboards. That's, That's what made me cancel my pre-order for the game. Now that it has it, I'll probably look into picking it up at some point for all of us to play. Yeah, I'm down. Got it. Let's go. I haven't really played it too much, so it'd be cool to go back because I, 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 I don't really build. So. There's there's updates too with building and stuff, and that's cool. Uh, yeah. Chris, never be our level. Oh yeah, well I only try to. You try to about at, 10 at minutes, the end, like, and you were like fucking yeah. tired. It was like five o'clock Fuck in the morning. You stupid ass fucking level. You're, you're gonna do more shit. too. You never did. And uh, I didn't. I got really annoyed. <laughs> All the ones <laughs> I played, it, I really it, like. After like an hour, yeah, it was like, like, man, why can't anyone just make fun levels? Like why, everything why has to be like be fucking hard. Like oh, look at me, I can't beat completion. this. Yeah, can't everybody's really fun. fucking proud of you. <laughs> pieces of shit <laughs> yeah everyone's real fucking proud of you you made a fucking level where you have to press the a button as quick as possible and shit not the a button the b button but whatever i, I remember uh yeah like chris was looking up mine which i named easy pc he's like oh look this one should be easy right dies a second later well <laughs> <laughs> fucking i think there's a couple of them that were like oh no not not too bad or whatever like they had like titles like that i'm just like you fucking Cox, <laughs> all of you. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, mean, I'll, I'm play, I'll I still play have those sure. downloaded, so maybe I'll play them in the future. Yeah. But ain't gonna uh, so, next story is uh, PS Now cuts its price in half. Wow. Yeah, and that's a permanent. It's now cut in half from uh, what I understand. How it's much bucks, was it before? 20 bucks a month. That's 10? Now it's 10. Oh, well, what do you get? It's basically uh, kind of like their uh, Xbox I know it is. game thing, yeah. I know, but like, what's what like the good? big game in there? They got they got some big games in there. Uh, let me look at the list really quick. Last of Us, I guess that's PS Plus also. So it doesn't really matter. Let's see PS Now game list. I bet. I bet. Let me guess. Because uh, there's PS3 games in there, right? Yes. Uh, Killzone Three. That's gonna be in there. Killzone Two. GTA Five is up there. GTA 5? Okay, only that's until, pretty good. Only until January. It would be great if it's GTA 5. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, but just the, a lot just of these the PS3 are, version. A lot of these already have a shelf date on them. Like, I'm looking... GTA 5, God of War, Uncharted 4, Infamous Second Son are only there till January 2nd, 2020. Wait, the new God of War? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Alright. That's actually have a shelf life, though. Why, why would they have a shelf life on their own first-party games? Uh, uh, maybe so that way they can re-release them on PS5 and make more money. Well, God of War makes sense because God of War is uh, actually no, it doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say because they they want to re-release it right now as a, one of those greatest hits things, but I don't know. And I got, I'm assuming they care. they like they like those to sell, but if it's on PS now, then fuck it. Yeah, Xbox doesn't care though. I guess we got spoiled by that side, but I, yeah, Xbox doesn't have greatest hits mainly because they don't Just a game have greatest hits. I guess. Yeah. Like, why, yeah get, I, no, why, I mean, why get a greatest hits and you pay a dollar and play your game? That's not true. Xbox had platinum hits. That's right. Oh yeah. I was just thinking like you know. I love those covers too. That that was like the the least egregious of 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 the greatest hits covers. I always felt like those were always fucking gross. Like yeah. Keeps at that gross yellow bar bar there. Oh yeah, I hate the yellow ones. Um, what was it? Uh, red. It's red for PS2. Yeah. And they had a little tag that said greatest hits on the bottom of it. Yeah. What did what did what did we do? We did. uh, They did. uh, No, not greatest hits. Um, they did something hits. 
Nintendo, G- G- Nintendo Selects, I think it so was. Nintendo Selects? Yeah, there you go. You're right. There you go. It was Nintendo Selects. What did the box look like, though? I'm trying to look. Um, I don't um, remember. I think it looked the same, except it had like a little thing on it. Did it have like a little a circle border. thing? Yeah, it was like a badge. Oh, it had oh, a red yeah. border. Yeah, red yeah, border. I had like a little badge thing that said like fucking... Yeah, but it had a red border slick. in there, too. It had a red so border. So like the, the box art was slimmed down. and Yeah, and, yeah, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I have, um, I have, I think, uh, was it Pikmin, I think? I, I always thought like the that. Xbox one looked cleaner just because it was like platinum hits and the cover was like silver and it made sense. Right. But I had one, I'd show it, but I don't have the moment. Yeah, no, I, I know you're talking about. I have the two platinum hits, but uh, I think my one of my Halo, I have like four copies of Halo. I think one of them is fucking platinum hits. Right. Uh, what, did 360 ever do one? Uh, 360, I think, had. Yeah, they um, had the platinum hits. I don't know if it was. Yeah, I think it was. Fuck, what was it? It was something else, I thought. Uh no I think yeah, it's no, they did hits, they did they did um yeah. they, did what, the same, what, what, they did the same shit where they uh they did two of them they ended up doing the, the smart thing where they just put the they just made the strip the the trim silver but yeah early on they did this thing kind of what Nintendo did where they slimmed down the box art but, oh yeah 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 I get you I yeah had, when, they had I had Nintendo, one for, Nintendo did that with a fucking remember Castlevania one of the Castlevania DS games right and they just took the the cover art and fucking made it smaller. Right. But they left the DS thing on the cover. Yeah, you know what I'm talking terrible. about with that. Yeah, the, I get you. The yeah, I know you talk about because Viva Pinata. The yeah, there you go. But Viva Pinata had it. I have a copy of Viva Pinata that was a. Yeah, and those ones look dumb. I always hate when people just yeah, do that. Like, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, because that's what my uh, Silent Hill 2 is. Oh, that's for Xbox. Yeah, it, look, it, it did look like that oh, for yeah. 360, though. Yeah, it should. It did look something like that. Yeah. I like those ones, though. Yeah, those look good. Okay. Uh, makes anyway, it look, it look prestigious. Like, oh, shit. Moving on so we can start wrapping this up. Uh, yep. The next story okay. is... Wait. Uh, uh, right now. No, almost. Right. Uh, two more stories, then we're done. And then we can do trivia, and then we got our topic at the end. Which, actually, I'm going to tell you guys now. So yeah, can, yeah, you didn't tell me. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, favorite one DLC. One. I know, I know. One. Okay, didn't well, we do one. that? I feel like we... Didn't we talk about this we one talk- time? Did we? Yeah. Like oh, we, we mentioned that we could we'll do it in the future, I think. Didn't we I mention know, we'll do yeah, it in the no, future? Because uh, I was thinking immediately what mine is. Yeah. Because uh, we were talking about like Mass Effect. Uh, the you're right. Stupid, you're I think right, it was you're right. during the trivia. I think it was during the trivia or something like that. Yeah. Uh, no, let's do it because we didn't we didn't really talk about it. We just mentioned that we'll talk about it in the future. Because uh, no, we brought it up on Dead Nightmare. Yeah. That's I could, not yeah. Right now. Um, was that for no? But that but that might have just been for when I was talking about Red Dead as well. I think we did games. talk about it because I think you also talked about uh, uh, the Bioshock Infinite DLC. Yeah, that's true. But what did I mention that during the the greatest games, like our favorite games during the like the the last decade or whatever? Probably. I don't know because I brought both. Uh, of those we're, gonna do, we're gonna do an easy one and just throw away one for this time. Is uh, let's we're gonna do talk that. About, no, we're gonna talk about the first game we played this generation. First game from this generation. Yeah, we played, and we'll talk about that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, that'll be an easy one. Uh, yeah. All right. So next story. Um, Wait, does the Wii U count as this generation? No, right? No. Nah. Then that would count. All right. Good. Uh, Thank God. Oh, no fucking Apex Wii U games. Season three is happening. Or it ha- it's happened like right now. It's, yeah, it started yes um, two days ago. Kings Canyons is retired, so that kind of sucks. I kind of wanted, I want to, I was really tired yesterday, so I didn't get to play. But I really want to play a couple more games on that map before they retired it. It'll come back. Oh, I didn't know. Wait. Something. Oh, I didn't know they retired it. Yeah, they, so they do the opposite, like because PUBG, you can just go to whatever map you want. Yeah. So, well, uh, you, Apex, you can't. You just randomly get right. Apex games. just retires it. Oh, so okay. I didn't is, know that. Yeah, the map is. So gone. that's why I got some comments saying like, "I'm gonna miss this map." I'm like, "What are they saying?" <laughs> it's like, yeah. well. So that map play is gone. They'll, they'll probably bring it back for some weekends, and that's smart. You know, it's like people really want to play it. They're like, oh, it's classic weekend, so come and play that. Yeah, but, okay. Um, yeah, so that map's retired now for the new one they got. Um, so that's kind of cool. A lot of cool skins. Like I'm, uh, I'm down to play if you guys want to play. That, that's Sure, I've been wanting good. to play it again, but I really need to actually get into it, because every time I play, I fucking suck dick play at it. Play a couple solo games, get, get used to the guns, because once you find the sure. guns that you want, like mine's always the um, triple take. And the uh, pistol. I forget what the pistol's name right now is. Um, but those things Larry. Are, uh, yeah, Larry the pistol. Uh, <laughs> those ones are always my go-to though. But uh, yeah, the the new map looks cool. New character looks mm. cool. Um, hoping that. Yeah, that the new of, character looks awesome. I love that drone. Crypto. You, you've seen more than I have because I haven't actually looked at the character that much. Uh, the drone. Well, he has a drone. 
The drone is sick. It, that's going to change the game very much so. Do you, have you seen what the drone actually... It's a drone. Oh, you're right? sure you're for a second, the way you said that. Like, that's going to change the game. No, it's going to change the game. <laughs> no, well, I, I was... I was being a little bit sarcastic, but it, I think it is going to change it. Like, because I, I, I know now everybody's going to be crypto and everybody's going to get spotted all the time. You're going to see fucking drones in the air all the time now. Uh, do you know what the drone does, though? I mean, I'm assuming no. you can fucking figure it out. Uh, it's just it's a drone. You just throw it in there and you can, like, start uh, tagging people. So nice. but it goes in the air and it has a pretty good distance from what I heard. So you can, like, really. And it's not an ultimate, too, I should say. The ultimate is that. When you use the ultimate with the drone, it creates an EMP shock that like stuns everybody that's okay. near. Um, but the the drone itself is not the uh, ult; it's just the regular ability. Um, and supposedly it has like pretty good recharge time. Like if, if it gets destroyed, it's only like I think a thirty second, maybe forty second um, recharge. But you can bring it back whenever you want and send it right back out. I think um, it looks really dope though. Nice. So uh, watch IGN use it, and it was like. It's pretty sweet. He's just like, oh, there's people around. Let me fucking whip that boy out and see where they are. And it's small enough where it's not too obvious it's in the air. Good shit. All right. You look cool. Yeah, hey, you got paper. Excited. We'll never play that. I'll get, the, I'll get the battle pass. Yeah. The, I'm still a little confused on how battle passes work, but you can only explain it to me. It, it's not that difficult. It's, it's just another thing you're activating to get more challenges during the day so you can unlock more shit. But how is people not upset about that? Is, doesn't that seem like something people would really freak out about? Like, right, we would. Now you have to pay. Yeah, you, know, you have to. I don't give a fuck to be honest. But um, um, it'd be like in Overwatch if they were like, "Hey, spend yeah. ten dollars here." Then it's like it gives you challenges like saying like, "Hey, you get three headshots with Hanzo today," or like, "Get fifteen headshots with Widowmaker for this week," and then you get extra loot boxes because of that. Because of it, but you had to pay to get the opportunity to get those loot boxes. Loot boxes or, just, or extra stuff that they'll be like, where, like or like new skins. It's level 15 like. and you get this exclusive one that you get there. Or so, yeah, so. like when they did the Mercy skin, that made sense because it was for uh, charity. Like you, yeah. but you, have to, you have to spend money. Right. But whenever they do the loot boxes, you don't actually spend money on them. You spend right. money on the loot boxes. Where Fortnite seems like you actually spend money. Don't you have to like... I heard like I, they had like the Batman skin or something like that. It was like ten dollars or some shit. Yeah, just for and, one and, and, like, what and, the fuck? Yeah, hey, those, the skins in, in Fort Air are pretty expensive. Yeah, uh, and and is that the only way you can get them, or do you could you use in game? Yeah, so currently? I'm pretty sure you can use them in game. Yeah. Um, the way I, I've always known is that everything in game is obtainable. It's just that you're grinding fucking. If you're one of those to get all those things in there, you're you're fucking playing more than we're playing Overwatch right now. Like you're playing yeah. daily. I haven't um, played Overwatch for a little while, actually. So I guess I ain't getting shit. I'm not. I don't think I'm getting that Bastion skin. I think it's done now, right? I, yeah. So I'm not getting that Bastion skin. It's cool <laughs> I skin. don't play Bastion anyway, so. Um. It was a cool skin too. I'm a little upset. It might still be up there. You should check after this. I think last time I, I went on ye- a couple days ago to see how long I had until competitive was over. I still had like a month. And I looked. I think it said only a few days left. So. I don't know. Okay. I, don't, I don't care. Um, to be honest. Yeah. So. You're you're paying more to get those challenges, and the challenges could be fun too. I guess they kind of. But do you get other stuff, right? Like not just challenge. You get. I'm assuming you get something. You're paying for something, and you're also getting some skins. I think. I think in general, right? You unlock it because Apex. I think if you get the battle pass, you get the couple of skins they showed, which those skins look sick. Did you see them? Yeah. Yeah. The the Pathfinder one was really nice. Um, and the weapon skins. I'm assuming you you get those, right? You buy it. I'm pretty sure you I do. watched the trailer if, yesterday, if, but I already if, forgot. If not, those are the ones that you're unlocking at the end. Okay. Because right. I know for the second one, the second one was the only time I ever bought a battle pass, and yeah, like at the end, you're getting the cool shit the more you play, obviously. Okay. But uh, I don't know. It, right. It's it's egregious for us because we're like, why the fuck would we do that? But uh, it, yeah, I get cool. it too. It's also some like ten bucks, and they can do shit whatever they want. Uh, for uh, the people that don't have time, you could pay an extra ten or fifteen bucks and you just skip twenty five levels. I think that's kind of stupid. That is stupid. I, I heard that. I was like, oh, okay. It's like, I didn't really understand you're what paying, they you're meant. You're paying to skip a bunch of levels. I know, I know, I get that, but I'm like, but do you get the stuff for that level? Yeah. Those levels? I'm assuming so, right? Okay. I guess it's cool uh, if you're like me and you're behind and you're like... Yeah, if yeah. someone came and said, hey, I'll pay $50 and we'll clear out half your backlog, you'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> Except for I don't know how that works, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You'll, get, you'll get the memory of having I get the it. memories of all those games. It's all shitty games, too. I'm like, fuck. No. <laughs> just the achievements. Just the... 
right. Last Every story. memory is an achievement. Last no. story before we move on to trivia. Oh, boy. Is a uh, big one. Sean Layden leaves PlayStation. Oh, no. I saw that, and I'm sad. From what I heard, it was like a really shitty departure, too. It was just so, like, yeah, you're gone. Bye. Yeah, like, so... Right. It wasn't uh, Reggie or or even like... Well, who was the one before uh, Sean Layden? Um, Thomas House or, or Adam no, not, Andrew House? Andrew House. No, not Andrew House. I'm sorry. It, him, too, but the one Jack before Trenton. him, too. Jack Trent, there you go. Um, Jack Trent had, like, a big one. He's just like, um, I'm leaving. Bye. Everybody's like, we love you, Trent. You're the best. Fucking, I love you, bro. And, Which, stuff. Dude, and dude, same thing with Andrew House. Good shit Andrew on, Andrew House. on fucking Jeff Keighley for that, uh, for the Game Awards thing. Because now two yeah, of those people are not there anymore. Reggie's yeah, right. out there. Reggie's out there. Trump and fucking there. Chunk. Phil Spencer's up there. Like, <laughs> Phil Spencer's like, he's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm at the opposite. I was like, he's like, hell yeah, I'm still here, baby. <laughs> oh, Last yeah, one. Yeah. Um, Doug Bowser's going to show up next next year, or this year. Yeah, so, oh, no, Doug that, Bowser shows up? This one, yeah, no one knows who he is. And he's also the he's also the head of Sony? <laughs> like he, Yeah. He got two over. roles? <laughs> um, yeah, no, people were saying it's weird, and yeah, it very it very much is weird that uh, there was no big departure, there was no random pressing that said, hey, embargo, but we're announcing this. Um, nothing showed up there. People were thinking that it was a strained relationship because of uh, what's his name? Um, Pat Sajak. Yeah. No. Who, Adam Sam. There's a power struggle going on there. At Kojima. Now with um, Kojima is the head of Sony now. Oh God, what's his name? Reggie Fils-Aimé. Uh Beethoven, the dog. Frank Wishbone. Wishbone. Jim Ryan. Uh, Jim, Jim Ryan uh, is there from Europe. He's up there. Jim and and uh, it's been kind of known that, that he's the one that kind of ran PS3 in, in Europe. So when, okay. when when a lot of places was like, hey, we I think I, the way I heard it from kind of funny um, was the way it kind of went was Sean Layden was very much the one like, hey, we fucked up. PS3 was bad, our, our bad. But uh, Jim Ryan was like, yo, I mean, PS3 work in Europe, so it wasn't that bad. Um, and then there, there right. is a power oh, struggle. I, I think, and we, this could be speculation, but like the way it's been going is that, that Sean Lane's been the one that's been wanting to do uh, a lot of the uh, single-player stuff, and, and Jim Ryan's the one that wants to do a lot more services stuff. Um, which also, I'm going to make an, uh, an abbreviation here. Uh, I also think it's kind of funny that the day, that, uh, the day after... Sean Lane leaves crossplays announced as a, as a thing with PlayStation. Mm. So that's also part of the new story is that a uh, crossplay is now just an enabled feature, so whatever game wants to use it, they can use it now. Right. Um. So that that's weird because that, I don't know if that that says something about Sean Layden or if that just was a thing that's going on. Um. But yeah, there was a big power struggle that people were seeing was going on there, and then that that might have led to it. Um. There could also be a uh, an NDA if he went to work with someone else. People are saying that maybe like, it makes sense if he Kevin went, Butler. It it makes sense if he went to Stadia, you know, since that that seems to be a thing that that's going on a lot with with people. They, you you either retire, but you announce like Reggie, you know, which also Reggie yeah. apparently is, is teaching, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you you were you announced that you're doing that, right? Or most or, intimidating teacher ever. But <laughs> I've been dope. I would love that. Yeah. Um, Where's the homework? I issued the homework two weeks ago, and it was due yesterday. You need now I'm going to gonna get... beat your ass. My now body gonna... is ready. I don't, now I don't, I'm going to fold know. you in half and break you on my I knee. I don't know where the homework is at. <laughs> I do not know where it is. <laughs> where is it? Um, no. Games are good. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember that was a quote from <laughs> one of the Nintendo Directs. I was quote. Games are good. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh no, he said the game is good. That's what game he said. The game is good. <laughs> yeah. The game is good. There we go. Um... No, so it's been kind of weird. Um, no other words been said about this, so everyone's kind of bye. Like, yeah, everyone's kind of weird. Um, and and as a uh, as a uh, Greg Miller was talking about, was usually this kind of shit, especially like like for game journalism, for example. If some my is like, hey, I'm gonna work at GameSpot, they'll be like, hey, cool, thanks for your work, get the fuck out. Like they 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 do not spend time like 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 saying. Could buy or anything like hey you're you're not with us anymore get out get out wow GameSpot does that you said 
uh, IG ended that with like people if they work with like Gamespot or something, you know, if they if they work oh, with Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, that's a. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're gonna go up to competitors, so like, all right, hey, cool, thanks. Sure, like, everything, everything's but fine, but get out. But you, you say, I'm assuming they're freelancer writers, right? No, I'm saying in general, if they're if they're. Oh, if they ever worked at Gamespot. If someone's working at IGN. Saying okay. hey, well that, uh, well, that makes sense. That's if you're saying. gonna work at two different places, okay. I thought you're no, just you're saying like, at two different places. You're leaving. I thought IGN. IGN was that fucking spiteful. You worked at Gamespot before. You're working freelance no, 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 with no, them. No, no, Fuck no, no, no. It's like what I'm I saying. I know, I know, like, you, if, I know what you're saying now. If if, if Sean Lane's like, hey, I'm gonna work for Stadia. Like, all right, cool, thanks. Yeah, that makes sense. You're out. Um, yeah, I get, I get that. I just say it's just weird because I didn't know he was working for Stadia. No, we don't know. We, that, that's speculation that, that he could be there or moving somewhere yeah. else because that 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 would that would. Re- what I'm trying to do is that that's that could be the reflection of like Sean Lane's going to competitors and that that's why he's like, all right, cool, you're out. Um, but, like but, Stadia. but Stadia is not a competitor because nobody gives a fuck. So um, what does he do? That's like fucking what's his name went to the what was it the Angry Birds guys and then he like like the Xbox guy went to Don Matrix or anything. Uh, uh, he went to Zynga. the Angry Birds guy, guys. Did he, no, he did he go to like Don no Matrix, he went to somebody. Don Matrix went to Zynga. Zynga, okay, they said Sega. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, and then then he he left like a couple years after that, right? Or whatever. I, think, I think so. And but, he looked uh, up. It could be that. It could have been like they had some some meeting, and then he was like, all right, I'm done. That that was it. And then they're like, all right, well, I can't because they don't even have a successor lined up for it or anything either. Uh, which in in retrospect too, the the Japanese person, I forget what what if David knew the name, someone on the Japanese side of of like big higher up on the PlayStation side, uh, left retired. They they said yeah. a whole thing for him and said, hey, we have a successor lined up for him soon. We'll let you guys know, but they didn't say anything for Sean Lane. So something's going on there. Um, with a lot of people so leaving PlayStation too. Like a lot of people have been leaving recently. I know uh, John Drake left and he was kind of like the head of the third parties. I think there. They've been getting a lot of people from. What was it Naughty Dog that left? Right? Was there a couple of people sure from Naughty Dog that left? I that might have been, heard... been them wrapping up there. The... Yeah. Just like, all right, we're done. Though, yeah. But, but for a lot, of, a lot of upper stuff in places is kind of changing. I'm not sure if that's a sign of the times or if that's a, uh, that's a hey, we need to start. Uh, it, that's, I don't know if it's a sign of times saying like, oh, places kind of fucking things up or if they're like, all right, we got we got a, the, new, the new system coming in. We can get a new set of people. Xbox time to rain. Or it's that. No. Next story. <laughs> Wait. No, I want to do do a different X. That sucks. That's a sucky. I'll just I'll just do, I'll just do Wu Tang. There you go. <laughs> ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Xbox ain't nothing to fuck with. Xbox clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Anyway, go ahead. What's the uh, next thing? But yeah, so then there's trivia, that, and then PlayStation oh. crossplay is happening. So cool. Good on that. That's I mean that's the best news. So agreed. And now trivia. And now trivia. All right, now we're starting. Welcome to the trivia yeah. section. Hey, Two boys up? are going to collide. Hey, fuck you. We're going to fight for more music trivia. <laughs> we're going to fight. So Get them dukes up. Time to fucking it, fight. Um, all right. So as per last week, David, as usual, you're hopping out for music yeah. right away. Yeah. Yep. I had that last week. Chris so is going to go for his redemption run. It's going to end it right here. Yeah, because Chris yeah. has a redemption run, right? About well, five points. music there, trivia. But... Yeah, that's not really fair, though. I got really close to it each time. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to yeah. lose, so I'm going to disappear now. Oh, that's fine. shit. That's fine. You're... that's fine. You'll lose the next five, just like usual. So. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Wait, what are we doing, though? You didn't say you just said music trivia. What is it for? Uh, video games. I know video games, but I thought it's like fucking. Do they not have cat? Like, jeez, we're just getting right into it. All right, fine. Fuck well, it. What do you mean? Do you not have like? Does it not have like a what? Does it have not have like a a theme? Like a a theme? There you go. That's where I'm going for. No, no? The, the other okay. ones haven't. It just said video game music trivia for that. I, yeah, I guess oh, so. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, that's really loud. <laughs> okay. She can hear it though. No, it keeps stopping though. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's because uh, this there's fucking ads everywhere right now. Jesus Christ. Oh uh, well. All right. All right. Uh, you ready? Listen to some ads. Yep. Okay. 
Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know any of these. <laughs> I knew Sonic, I was Oh. I know what that is. Let me think. Is that Resident Evil? Uh, is there one you want to put after that? Two. Uh, yep. Okay, that's the same room music, I think. All right, ready? All right. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a menu, actually. Maybe it's the same room thing, too. Ace Attorney. Oh. Good ass song right there. Uh, keep going. I know what that is, but I can't. I'll come back. <laughs> Feels like an idiot right now, so I walked in. Well, this is Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He loves this game. So that's the fucking Dance Central shit going on right now. I oh, got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> he got distracted. Well, I couldn't hear him because you're talking to him, so. Now you're to have to go way back. Stupid ass NES game. Mario 3? Yep. Okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shenmue, right? I would only know that because of fucking Kyle. Yeah, Shenmue. <laughs> I played Shenmue. I would only know that because... Of... Yeah, yeah. That sounds weird, though. I'm going to say it's, uh... That's one of the newer ones, right? That's uh, that sounds funky. I I was literally actually just randomly playing this today for a reason. I'll explain later. I don't know which one to even say. World? No, it wouldn't be world. What was that? What would that be for? You want to hear it again? The new... Well, when was this video made? So I know. Six years ago. Six years? Okay, so, uh... Gal- Galaxy, I guess? Uh, it is Mario, right? I'm not fucking on. That's stupid, am I? Mm-hmm. That sounds so generic at this point. It might as well be Mario. I don't know. Let's fuck it. Just go. Doom. No, no, I was trying to pause it. Doom. That's definitely Doom. Doom. Yeah. Wait, stop it real quick. Go back to it. Is that ghoul, uh, super ghouls and ghosts or a fuck? I can't. I can't picture it, but I've heard that somewhere. Or ghosts and goblins, whatever the fuck it's called. Super ghouls and goblins. It will. Super ghouls and. Ghosts. No, go. It would be ghosts and goblins or ghouls and ghosts or whatever. I, it, I forgot which goblins. one. Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins? Oops. No, Ghosts and Goblins, that's what it's called over here. Ghosts and Goblins? I, I've been trying every single one. No, oh, okay. That's not. Okay. You got right, Continue. If that is, I'll give you the point on that. I don't know. I don't think it is. It just sounds like something. I know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rock. Okay, uh, Luigi's Mansion? That one? That sounds like Luigi's Mansion. Um, yeah. Was? Okay. Yep. Wait, stop it? Play that one again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. You can't do that. Anything's... Go back. Go back again. I fucking can't, distract I can't me, fucking was... dab because it's fucking. Oh, my God. 
mixing up all these fucking old games now with all this fucking music. I don't know. I've heard that song before. I can't. I can't fucking place where it's from. Wait, go back. I didn't. Wait, go back to that one. Metal Gear Solid. I got it from that one note too that, that showed up there for a second or two, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like when you you're caught in his action music. Like that. All these fucking I can't. <laughs> they all kind of bubble bobble. See, no. Yeah, they all fucking blend together, and I can't remember exactly what game it's from. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you right now on this one. I know, I know yeah. it. Yeah, I'm gonna say Bal balloon fight. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I think it was like some fucking stupid... Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or some shit? <laughs> no, but I would, I would really believe yeah. it. Sounds like one of the menu songs. Is that like Crazy Taxi, then? That sounds like some fucking Sega Genesis... I mean, not Genesis, uh, Dreamcast shit. No Crazy Taxi. No? Okay. Alright. Okay. Continue. You got a uh, six minutes left in the quiz and about a minute and a half left in the actual music, so you can do a run around again if you want. Yeah, that, that's why. That's why I was skipping a lot of stuff in the beginning. Wait, start start that one again. Is that Galaxy? No. No, oh, what the fuck is I, that? I can totally not... tell that. I can't. I can't place it. All right, good. I think that's Fable. No. Fable two. Yes. Okay. Very good. There's a favorite game. Sounds like Castlevania. Um, Symphony of the Night, I guess, if I had to pick one. No. No? 
Okay. I think it's a Castlevania game, but keep going, I guess. Okay. Nah, no, maybe not. Fallout? Let's see. Fallout mm. 3 or 4? Yes. It's 4 or 3? Fallout 3. three. Oh, I guess 4 was not the back then, so it had to be Fallout 3. Alright. That's the end of it, so we're going back to the beginning now. Okay. Sorry. Okay, three minutes. Is that Star Fox? That's something. Some space. No Star Sounds Fox. Like, no Star Fox? Fuck, what is that? Play it again? Play that one. I'm at the, uh, this one. Is that Silent Hill song? Not Silent Hill. Not Silent Hill? Oh, you mean, like, it, no, it's not, it is Silent Hill. I, I okay. guess it makes you pick the one, so, like... Okay. The two? Yep. Okay. Guess that. Sounds like... Wait, how much time do I have left? I'm one minute. Oh, never mind. Castlevania? Maybe that maybe that one's a Castlevania. It's a Castlevania 4 if I had to pick one. No. No? Alright, screw it. Got 10 seconds. Anyway, I already guess. So. I already did that one. Alright. Alright. Yeah, 14 out of 20, or out of 8, 90. That's 20, I wish. 14 out of 90. <laughs> nice. uh, 14, the one, all right. The one Mario one that you were missing was Super Mario 64. Oh, that's Super 64. All right, yeah, whatever. that was the first level. That was a Mario game, though. Yeah, it was Super Mario 64. Okay, I knew it was a Mario game. Fucking whatever. So you got 15, so I'll save that one, and we'll do another one. I got 14 of that. Sorry, 14. Uh, yeah, because no, I, yeah, actually, I accidentally typed in the wrong game. <laughs> 
I, I typed in a game, and you, you got it for a different one, though, so it didn't really count. Okay. What was it for? Uh, Castlevania 4, which was coming up later on. Oh, that minute. okay. All right. All, All right. right. Bring him back. Now he's not looking. Look! 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 Stupid dumb idiot. Yo! <laughs> I like how every time we're dabbing, he's just coming in, you're like, oh, me? You got dabbed on. That's a good That's a good attention. <laughs> yeah, let's see how long we got. <laughs> I hate that I'm doing this. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> this fucking dumb ass. Come on, look over your arms and get tired, you fuck. <laughs> he looked over here for a second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible uh, audio content. <laughs> but if this man looks over. <laughs> Come on! I got a message. Is he fucking? Oh, I thought you did much. No. <laughs> there, 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 there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't message him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought you did. He's stupid. Oh, right on time. <laughs> Oh, oh, you got well, that was six. So it's it, <laughs> fucking Gore's dabbing for the last minute, waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck. Sorry, it's hard to tell sometimes when you're just fucking dancing to the beat or when you actually need my attention. All you're right. dancing more than us. Are you, re you ready? Yeah. How many? So, how, many did, how many do you think Gore got? Ten. The better than that, baby. Yeah. Fourteen. All, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> 14. Right. That's usually around 10 or 11 or 12. 10, 10 11 go. is where you guys actually usually land. Yeah. So, so David's got to bring it. And, and right. uh, Gord, do you want to tell him how you did it? Well, you time? know why? Because I let all yeah. the video play out. So, so. He, he let it play out and, and went at, back in for an extra two minutes at the end. Okay. So, you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's start this. Sonic. Oh, is that a Silent Hill 2? Yep. That almost sounds like Soul Calibur 3. Uh, no. 2. No. 4. No. Five. No, and not six either. Alright. This is made six this is made six years ago, by the way. How about how about Soul Calibur? So, yeah, how about the first one? Nope. What about Soul Blade? Oh, that's Street Fighter 2. You got it. Uh is that puzzle bobble? Let's take a pause to catch up here. No. Uh. That's not Kong Country. Oh! 
Um. Fuck. I want to say it's Double Dragon. No, that's too lively for Double Dragon. Um. Yeah. I want to say Streets of Rage 2. It's definitely some kind of beat em up. No, nah, Streets of Rage. It is Streets of Rage? No. Oh, I'm not Streets of Rage. Ah. Uh, Fuck, woke up. Keep going. Oh, is that Killer Instincts? No. Damn. Is that Mortal Kombat? No. Alright. Sounds like a Dan Foran rendition. Oh, Psychonauts! Yep. Fuck! Ah, oh, I know this! God damn it! Ah! Oh. Play it again? Yes! Oh, it's this menu music and something I played recently. Fuck, oh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh. More time or do you want to keep going? I forgot that one. That sounds like some kind of Soul Calibur music as well. Yeah. No, it's not. Castlevania. That's Castlevania. There you go. Uh, not Castlevania. Castlevania it's four. Uh, 3. It's 4. four. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> God damn it. I feel bad. So wait, was that right? Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck, fuck. No, go back. That's Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Fucking nerd. Bruce. That's Legend of Zelda. Sure. It's not like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, Kingdom Hearts birth by after the birth of it. That's Super Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, it's one of them. One of them, Major. Ah, uh, one, two, three, three. There you go. You're at nine. Diablo two. That's Diablo two. Diablo 2, Adrian. Jesus. Uh, not Diablo 2. Diablo 1. 
There you go. Yeah, yeah, I, knew it was, I knew it was Diablo. Diablo. Hate that okay. I knew this. <laughs> Is that Jade Empire? No. Okay. I guess, how did you know? Uh... Fuck. It's tough record, too. I mean, I knew what series it was from. Like, it sounds like Kirby, but I don't think it's right. I knew what series it was from, to be fair. Oh! Fuck! God damn it! Play that one one more time. Chiller? No. Okay. Need four a tie, five to win. That's Blighter House? No. Two, three. Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing? Ugh. Yep. Gross. <laughs> Is that Secret of Mana? Chrono Sugar? Let's see. No. Chrono Cross. No. Is that Lunar? Is that spelled just Lunar? Yeah. L-U-N-A-R. No. Right. Could be one of the Lunar games, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'll see that one. No, that's right. I mean, it's not mine anyway. 
So. No, it's not. Alright, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Is that clock tower? Can you hear it? No. One, two, three. No. Haunted ground? Haunted ground? Haunted ground? Haunting ground. Haunting ground. It's a part of the t clock tower series. Nope. Alright. You're at uh, seven Vanguard. minutes left. You need three to tie, four to win still. You have about two minutes of song left. Portal. Yeah. Two to tie, three to win. Uh, Final Fantasy, uh, seven? Yep. One to tie, two to win. That's gotta be some kind of DDR. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, but I don't think DDR should count. <laughs> I don't think any music games like that should it's count. It's not Dance Dance Revolution. It's fucking like Dance fucking... Dance fucking Mania. Dance Central. <laughs> yeah, Dance Mania or one of those other fucking no, stupid Neither ones. of those. It's Dance one of Maniacs. those. Maniacs. Yeah, it's like that or some shit. Dance Maniacs. Mario. How about that Mario one? I bet it's that Mario one. Mario Mix? <laughs> yeah, Mario Mix. No, it's not. Is <laughs> Mario right. dancing that? Continue on. That sounds kind of like some kind of double dragon. There's a double dragon on here? Yeah. You got it. You're tied. There One you more go. to win. There you go, game work. Oh, is that, um... No. Fuck, that's character slot music from something. I go, go back, back. Here. Yeah. Is that Capcom, uh, the one that I was uh, thinking of, was that Capcom versus SNK? No. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom 1? I can get one of them. No. Alright, keep going. Alright. I know it's Four some kind left. of cutie fighter. Oh, is that Mass Effect? None of them? Nope, tried them. Alright. You got a few songs left till it goes over. Definitely forget one of the last ones. Starting over. I didn't get this one, right? No. Is that Final Fantasy IV? Please, no. No. <laughs> Is it any Final Fantasy? It could be a Final Fantasy. It sounds like... But the one I thought like was space music. 
No. Is it any fantasy star? Uh, yeah, you have to spell fantasy differently. Yeah. P P H. Uh, it's P H. No. Dragon Quest slash Warrior. It does sound like Dragon Quest. I, I hear that for sure. It's some fucking RPG. <laughs> but yeah. I, I afraid it sounded like space music to me at first, like Star Fox or some shit. No. All right, continue on. You fucked me up because you the ones you just answered answered a lot of other ones in this in this quiz. Oh god <laughs> damn. <laughs> Oh, well, there's so many fucking RPG music in there. <laughs> Goddamn. About a minute left. This one I didn't get right. No. All right. Uh, Dragon Quest. No. Ain't Fantasy that Star. Ain't that no. a bitch? <laughs> All right. Continue on. <laughs> you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you this: you're not going to reach either of those. Is that one of the King of Fighters? He's no. <laughs> <laughs> so close. No. Damn it. I know that's some kind of either beat him up or fighting game. God damn no, it. No, you don't. Continue. Yeah, Final 30, fight. You got 30 seconds left. Final fight. That was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, actually, it doesn't count. I gave him Castlevania 4, so. No, you didn't. So tied. No. <laughs> I would have gone through the whole list and you know it. Uh, yeah, no. It's you're, just like you're, you should have done with Tekken, right? And you're, you uh, <laughs> you're, uh, you're less fucked me up because you actually got 21 out of 90, but you just kept naming the wrong ones for the wrong yeah, ones. Yeah, you just kept fucking saying games. <laughs> so, Star Street that... Fire, Mortal Kombat, fucking. <laughs> All right. Dragon Quest Fantasy Star Final Fight Street Fighter. So let's, let's go ahead. Go, let's go through. I could do that too. <laughs> well, 30, why don't you, asshole? Thirty seconds I'm not left. Chuckle, fuck, cuckhead. All right. All right. Thirty seconds left. and got it. You need thirty seconds. He had thirty seconds left before time. I thought you said he still had thirty seconds. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. See, he barely got that. All right. Let's go through it. He always barely gets it. Just want everybody to know. <laughs> we got, we got one more music quiz. So. All right, I'm see. sure he'll barely I'm undefeated get that so far in music. Yeah, barely. <laughs> all right. the music. All right, all right, Everything let's... else, though. Like, uh, if you ask some Dino Crisis questions, or fuck you, fuck up. <laughs> right, let's let's do this. All right, Sonic. <laughs> Dino Crisis. Uh, Joe yeah. and Mac, Caveman Ninja. Oh, that's what that was. Fire Emblem. Fuck. Oh. Uh, oh. Silent Hill 2. You guys both got that. Uh, the Last Remnant. That's what that was. I don't fucking that on there. Street Fighter 2. We both got that, I assume. This next I, one. I, I I'm Street Fighter. Frogger. Oh! oh ah, fuck! Ah. <laughs> fuck! Oh, yes. All right. A legendary Starfy. Sure. I played that. That's pretty fun DS game. I don't know why it's on there. Alundra. Alundra. Uh, okay. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country. Uh, David's gonna kick himself on the next two. Am I really? Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh fuck me! Puzzle Bobble. What? No! Bullshit! <laughs> Contra. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Final fight. 
Rocket Knight Adventures. Okay. Okay. Maniac Mansion. Oh, okay. Breath of Fire 3. Ah, fuck. I'll play for a minute, no one cares. Afterburner. That's what that was. God damn it. Max Payne. Oh, oh. that's what that. Fuck. That sucks. Yeah, it's a big one. Resident Evil 2. God damn it. Alright. Chris got that one. Psychonauts. Uh, rest in peace, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, yeah, for it. Ace Attorney. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Wait, what rip? Uh, you'll hear in the news. We'll talk about it later. Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Metroid Fusion. Oh, okay. Okay. Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Am. Castlevania 4. Jet Force Gemini. Oh, okay. Shinobi. Shinobi! Kingdom Hearts. Gross. Should be ashamed. Legend of Zelda. Now uh, this next one's for David. Street Fighter EX. Oh, fuck. I haven't actually played, I'll be honest, I haven't played EX 1 or 2, I've only played 3. Space Channel 5. Damn it! Alright. Adventure Island. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. Cannon Fodder 2. Sure. Good title for that game. Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> Pilot Wings. Ah, uh, okay. Diablo. Diablo. Sir, I'll listen. Still, uh, while I listen, I tell us. Shenmue. Shenmue, bitch! Oh, why didn't you get that one? He did. did actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Escape from Monkey Island. Okay. You guys both missed it. I was surprised. Super Mario 64. Oh, yeah. fuck. Well, to be fair, I did. I knew it was a Mario game. That's true. I just uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. Just oh, I haven't played Nocturne. Doom. Fuck! Oh, Chris got that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Bionic Commando. You can tell they kind of gave that like a fair amount. Killer Instinct. Oh, wait, no, I got that one, right? No, you didn't. Yeah. You said it for oh, else. You said it for a different game. Yeah, I got James, it, Pond, James Pond, Underwater Agent. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Crystallis. Okay. I haven't played that game in a while. Fantasy Star 4. There you go, that's Fantasy Star, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. Fahrenheit. Ah! Oh, that one. Uh, Indigo Prophecy. Loco Roco. Ah, uh, okay. Would not have gotten that. Okay. I, I didn't. Uh, Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum. Oh, okay. I played Patapon. Patapon's great. Yeah. Mock Rider. Cock Rider? Yeah. Yeah, Mock Rider. Cock Rider. Oh. <laughs> I Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's Animal Crossing? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Is that really Bahamut, Animal Crossing? Yeah. Bahamut Lagoon. No, I meant like, it sounds oh, like a horror song. fuck. Okay. It sounds like a horror song, the Animal Crossing one. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Kart. Really? Okay. King of Fighters 94. There you go. Come on, guys. Banjo-Kazooie. Dude, Dude, I haven't played Banjo Kazooie in like 12 years. Uh, this one, this one got me. This is a Wii Fit. 
D do we look like we engage yeah, in Wii Fit? <laughs> Secret of Evermore. If it was from Wii oh, Fit, oh. then I know it. Blaster Master. Oh, that's where that's. Oh, Alright. I've heard that song so many times. Metal Gear Solid. Soul Calibur. At Soul Calibur? Okay. Yep. I thought that was Castlevania. You guys saying it was a dance game? Yeah, it's yeah. a dance game, right? Uh, think of an action, an action game. Uh oh. Oh, it's like probably like a one of those fucking. No, like your revenge. You're, but you're on the right games. track, David. Is it a bullet hell game? No, David's on the right track. Tell him what you said. I didn't hear what you said. I said Metal Gear Revenge. Oh, is it like is it Vanquish? No, on no? the right track still. Oh, uh, uh, Bayonetta. Uh, yep. Okay, man. Uh, I got that, so it's a tie again. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Yeah, I want to guess Raider? that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet it in two. Oh fuck! All right. I put Sweet They're great games, but damn, they're expensive now. Worms. Oh, three is it? That was cheap. What was this one? Worms. Okay. I'll play Worms. The uh, Misadventures of Tron Bone. Oh, 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 fuck. Yeah, Tron Bone's fucking expensive, man. Time Crisis. Yep. Well, uh, I only play an arcade. Oh, uh, this one's gonna get David. Balloon Fight. I was never a big fan of Balloon Fight. I feel like that's something I everyone knows. Uh, Tales of Destiny. I knew it was some Tales games. I wasn't just gonna this, go this down. This one's a Mega Man, gentlemen. Portal. The second you said Mega Man, I immediately heard it. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Bro, you got that one, I imagine, right? Sonic R. Yeah. Who fucking's played Sonic R? No one. Get out of here with that. A boy in his blob. Trouble on blob blo Bloblonia. You can just say a boy in his blob. Blobolnia. I think there's only one game, so it's uh, Kirby's Adventure. Zack and Wiki. Uh, Zack and Wiki make a porno. I got that. <laughs> Echo. Uh, Echo? The dolphin. Oh, okay. Eco, you mean? No, Echo. Oh. Yeah, no. Fable I 2. Was, I was just... Fable 2, man. Classic. Majora's Mask. Damn it! Yep. Double Dragon. Uh, Bait and Kaidos. Oh, ew. That game sucks. Siphon Filter. It's too bad it's card art. Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Siphon Filter? That Bait and Kaidos series. sucks. Star Soldier. Fallout 3. Oh, yeah. Okami. Fuck, okay. yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Everything sounds so similar. Final Fantasy 13. Ew. <laughs> Who played that game with the audio on? Is it called Turd Theme? Dark Cloud. Oh! oh God damn it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Chrono Cross. Yeah, idiot. You said Chrono Cross earlier. Should say right. for the end. Alright, so congratulations, David, on another win yeah. in the music category. Uh, you uh, another needed. squeaky little <laughs> fucking victory there. Brings the points up to 21. If there was score. more shooting games with fucking music and shit, then I would win. I'm, I'm going to have, have some special All these going. fucking dumbass RPGs and fighting games. I'm going to have a bonus point goat in the next uh, music one, too. Fuck so you. It'll be, it'll be something different. So, Fuck uh, off. Stay tuned next week for the final <laughs> video sick. game music trivia. Fuck you. No, not next week. Yep. Fuck you. Back to the podcast. Back to the podcast. Well, no. We have to record the podcast now. No, no, fuck you. you. Cock. We're back. All right, welcome back. What did you think about that? Gore, what did you think? Uh, it was really fun uh, sitting here fucking listening to music again for the ninth time. Uh, it was a great time. Gore's just mad that he hasn't won one yet. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
if you put a little bit more fucking action games in there, you know, good, actual good games in there, then maybe I'll fucking guess them. Maybe if they had good music, Gore. They do have good music. They just keep picking all the fucking stupid ones. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize an action game needed to have fucking long, dumb, fucking stupid operatic goddamn songs like every RPG out there. Thank you, Amaran, for our, our last couple of weeks of trivia. Fuck you. We appreciate you. I didn't win, so I don't have anything to fucking... No, I don't have any allegiance towards whatever the fuck his name is. You you ruined me. Why don't you, you make it, it fucking so I win? All right. Last Fucker. thing we got up here is our topic. Okay. And uh, as I said, it's going to be just... What was the first game we played generation, this generation? Well, let's talk about it for a little bit. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, my, mine is not something I, I need to talk about too much. Gore played Forza. So, uh, no, it wasn't, actually. My first game I played... Huh? Dead Rising. No, it was it was well, it was almost it's similar. It was a uh, Rise, Son of Rome. Uh, that was the first game I played. Still one of the uh, best looking games of generation. Sure, yeah, that was a it was a good looking game. They definitely uh, started the Xbox off on the right note when it comes to graphics, at least. And maybe not gameplay because the gameplay was. I don't know how it's aged, but at it's the not time, bad. I, I always play like the game. It's only like five hours, right? Yeah, it's really short. I, I keep trying to play, but I keep just getting bored by the second chapter. Not even that it's, not even that it's like bad. It's just like not oh, really a game I want to play. Skip? It's a training, right? You have to no, do. No, not even that. I, I, it's like I get, I get like about an hour in. I'm like, I can keep going, but it just, I'm, I just don't really care about the same too much. I'll get through it probably sometime, sometime soon. I, I keep well, looking at it. Rise of it was like that game was so gorgeous. I love the setting. I would have loved the I, sequel. Oh yeah, if they like made a sequel where it was like, no, nah, and I don't even need open world, just something a little bit bigger because it was a fucking li- probably the most linear game I've played this generation. Still, it's like literally there's no place. Corridors. To- there's no hallway here just to explore a little bit here, and there's, there's nothing here. It's to literally go down it. <laughs> it's like all right, you go down this, you make a left, make a right, go up some stairs sometimes. There you go. You beat the level. Good job. You only have eight more left. Don't worry. You'll be done in about two and a half hours. Like, all right. It was really small in scale, and that's not what that game needed. That game needed to be big. I mean, it's fucking. It's I mean, Rome. The reason why it looks so good is because of that, though. Son of Rome. I want to see some fucking battles, bro. I don't. I mean, you get some, I guess, but it's just not. You don't feel it at all. Like at the the game starts with a big battle, and you don't feel it. It's just like I don't know. I want to feel it, baby. But uh, you know what? Shadow of Rome. Go play that. That's a good game. Not that it has the uh, the expanse of a, what that I want, but that's a good game. But it was gorgeous. I'll give it that. It was a very good looking game. And it started off Xbox right where I had some action. It didn't need to focus too much. I think a, a great first game for a console should be a game that you don't really need to focus too much on. And it's short. It's quick. It just gives you a little taste. It's just like, this is going to be the future. Uh, that was a great one. Uh, I also played Dead Rising 3. I think I probably played that the same night, I'm assuming. But uh, Rise, I remember playing that one first because it was supposedly the game that really, like, wows you. And I also right. played 4 5. But uh, uh, then I think, uh, was it a week after? No, I got I, I got my PS4, like, I think, like a day after my Xbox One. So, I believe. If not, then I played something on PS4 first, but I don't remember what it was. So, oh no, yeah. was it Knack? Oh no, if I got my if I got my PS4 first, it might have been Knack. All right, never mind. I think I got my PS4 first. I played Knack first. Great game. Anyway, go ahead. Let's uh, pretend it was right. David, what'd you play? Uh the first game of this generation for me was Destiny. Really? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of people at work that were super excited about it, and that was the reason why I got my PS4 initially was, it's like, alright, fuck it, I guess it's time to get a PS4 now, and, uh, yeah, so I spent a uh, good 100 plus hours in fucking Destiny. How'd that go? Good times. Love that game. How's Destiny 2? Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's... <laughs> Now, you called me a contrarian earlier. Come on, that's like that's everybody's like, like that's the exact opposite of what everybody thinks. Everybody's like, "Fuck the first one," but second was great, bro. 
I, I heard they I kind of all oh, depending later. depending on on. Stuff. I heard they kind of fucked it up later with the DLCs, but when uh, it first came hardcore, out, Destiny Two. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. Well, casual fans love Destiny Two more. Hardcore fans don't like Destiny Two as much. I don't like either of them. I I hated the changes to the classes. It had the same problem at launch that the first game did. Of it was very bare bones, and considering they had all the time in the world to just go ahead and fucking work on making it a full fucking game to begin with. Uh, it, I didn't care for it at all, but uh, the first Destiny I had a lot of fun with. Taken King was one of the best fucking expansions to a game uh, of that genre. Uh, absolutely loved it, uh, but no, I had a lot of fun with Destiny. Uh, great game. I liked it. Um, so you don't want to try Destiny 2 when the update comes out? Because it, it actually just came out and they fixed a bunch of shit. Shadowkeep? I might try it, but it's not anywhere near okay. do list. I mean, I'm still going through my backlog, and plus now I'm planning what I'm going to play on it for Extra Life, uh, which I'm going to use Extra Life as an excuse to go through the weirder shit in my collection. Like, I'll be playing some Zebo stuff. Uh, I'm going to play Exhibit's Pimp My Ride on PlayStation 2. Are, are, we, oh, hey. doing, are we doing uh, yeah, man. Extra Life together? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm doing it for work, but we can all do it together. I don't give a shit. I can multitask. I just, if it's because of the fact that I'm doing it in tandem with work, I got to be a lot more PG, but... So you can't call like uh. So I can't uh, call Gore the cuck that he yeah. is. But... Uh, okay, that's good. You insult fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what insult um... means, but like, <laughs> I don't. Gore, look in the is. mirror. You found one. Oh, I, I guess it means a sex god. Yeah, go say go say that on Twitter right now. I guess. <laughs> uh, insult means, means sex god. god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. I, I know we. I kind of want to fuck around with the. Uh, well, Chris can't stream. I'm trying to Huh? I said, no, I cannot. Yeah. So Unless I'll... we stream from Xbox or some shit, like, straight from there on, tw- on whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm going to see if there's a way we can kind of do some, like, weird, like, those Twitch group things or something. Or I might even just do a mixer. Yeah. We'll see. You don't um, need to do that. I'm only, like, 12 followers away from, like, digitally getting affiliate status. Right. So I kind of want to fuck around with Twitch a little bit more before I just go back on Mixer. Figure it out. We'll do something, though. Uh, anyway, the one I played, I think, I think I played. Ooh, what did I play first? It might have been. It was Forza, I think, because I think we wanted to play multiplayer, but there was nothing in Dead Rising, and you had it first. Dead Rising had multiplayer. All right, wait, wait. <laughs> did we play multiplayer? First? No, I think it did. Because you play as the fucking. I know like day the, one. Yeah, I definitely like, played Forza. You play as a guy, if you play Dead Rising 3 all the way throughout, uh, you, there's one character that never gets any screen time at all, and that's a character you play as if you're the second player. But in the game itself, if you play only one player, you never see that guy almost that's ever. Because um, I was thinking, like, who the fuck is this guy? You show like, random times, like, a few hours later, I'm like, I see him just chilling. I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? And I was like, oh, that's a guy you play as in co-op. Um, maybe it was only on- local? I don't think it was. I think maybe. it was online. I think I'm pretty I, sure I know. We, we definitely oh. played for today one, though. Four is the one that didn't have co-op. Anyway, for, yeah, Forza we played. I don't know about day one, but it wasn't. Yeah, we played day one. I remember that. Um, okay. We also we I, walked yeah. around with the Skype app a lot. Oh yeah, I remember that. So we, we were just we, like we, we were Skype, but we, we we use Connect a lot. We should just say like we we played Connect more than fucking some of the games on day one. We we're just screaming shit at like you know Xbox Connect, uh, Skype. Uh, uh, slutty boy, or <laughs> we had because we we switched their names and shit, so we just called them like whatever their nicknames were, like S- salty boy. Call him, and then we would amaze people by showing that, like, hey, look, listen, what I could do, and you just hear people go, whoa, it's calling me right now. Whoa, <laughs> that was back in 2013. Now, now that's just like normal shit. Now you blow people's minds if you say, hey, look what I can do, and you dial a phone number. You're like, whoa! What? You don't need you don't to say to... anything? You just yeah, use you your fingers? <laughs> you don't need um, to say anything. Yeah, I might have done that. Uh, Power Star Golf might be one of my first ones, too. Um, That was a good one. I remember I really, that one. I really want to play Local play... Cycle, but then I ended up playing it on 360. Ooh, I played Local Cycle. Uh, Killer um, Instinct we played a little bit of. Killing Instinct was fun, yeah. There's a lot of good launch titles for the Xbox or uh, Xbox One. I still stand by the fact that I think it had a better launch lineup than PS4 for sure. Oh, it definitely did. The PS4 had like nothing. It had Killzone, which was mediocre, and it had Knack, which was amazing, of course. Very, but yeah. You 
Yeah, well, Knack was amazing. Uh, Rezo Gun was the was the killer. Oh, Rezo Gun, yeah, kill Rezo Rezo Gun was better than pretty much any game released that day. I would say. Yeah. For a while too. And contrast, that game was pretty cool. That was the guys that did um Happy Few, We Happy Few, whatever. Xbox guys yeah. now. Yeah, there you go. But the contrast was pretty cool. I I, I can't say the same about ha- We Happy Few though, because uh, I I didn't care for it. All right, that's the podcast. That's it. Um, quick little. Quick these little podcasts topic. will be going up more later in the day. They used to go up around uh, eleven o'clock Pacific. They'll probably go up around more later afternoon because I don't want to kill myself editing these every single night and then not get enough sleep the next day. So I'm just gonna export these and just edit in the day. Um, so probably like I'd say around maybe four or five Pacific time, uh, and that will be consistent from there. Um, and then hopefully with that too, if uh, if I figure out a better way to do a, a, a cooler looking format instead of what I got going on right now, we could pick, we could fuck with that a little bit more too. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. All right. Send us out, David. Yeah, David, do something cool. Fuck the poly.